was an early Lego morning, and something just felt funny. Because Blackfoot Thompson and his gang were in the bank stealing the money. The crooks fled in their hideaway. They thought they'd be alright. But Sheriff came out with ten strong men who put up a good fight. Now Flatfoot and his gang will pay for what they've done, confined inside Fort Legorado. And that is how the Wild West was run. Lego mania. Yeehaw! You Yeehaw. sets collect from you Lego. Collect you from set Lego. Sold you set sold separately. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another mock hour. How's everyone doing tonight? Let me see. So we were just a couple minutes late tonight. Were we very late? Only like two or three minutes. Uh, with me, of course, is Mr. Just Sack Pat. Lego Mania, all inside Fort Legorado. And we have one other very minor host. Oh. You guys probably haven't met him before. So it's Bricks. Ad, Bricks has come guy. back. Bricks has come back, everyone. Bricks is here. here. Oh, Wonderful to be here, Your Majesty. Bricks. How's it going, Bricks? You all right, mate? What a surprise. Yes, it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you for that wonderful intro, Your Majesty. Well, thank you for making it. Not when people knew you used to do the commercials for Lego. That's how you got your Yes, start. it's a little known secret. One which I uh, I insist you purge from the Club Break archive immediately. We've been over this. I'll make sure to do so. I'll use the space one next time. No, you Lego won't. mania. Anyway, let's see who's in the chat. Mr. TV Studios. I want to know his monkey. Hey, monkey what's going on? Obi Wan Productions. Obi Wan going. Yes, I'll yes, we, we are one minute late. Uh, let's see. Well, people are more hard than the professor. Awesome. Thanks, everyone, for uh, after joining all these tonight. years, the professor's back after all this time. Yes. After all this time. Uh, if you haven't seen the video description, the theme is. um. What was it? Wacky vehicles. So I, I'm a little confused. The fee chef with a thumbnail you wrote like wacky something like it was like wacky contraptions, crazy contraptions, but it's actually just wacky vehicles. But you guys all knew that from the announcement of the server. So it should be fun. Anything else you guys want to say before we dive in? Hello, Arden. Um, England, Arden. England in the Euros going against Croatia. Come on, England. I guess classic that? conflict of sports ball. Is that going I'm on now? Old. I'm watching Mr. Goaty, as uh, XO yeah. says. We didn't play the XO clip tonight. Should we have done that one too? How about no? More oh, not goat. I'm watching Mr. Goaty. What about Lego Maniac? Lego Maniac? What do you refer to? Like one of the commercials? Professor Goaty Awards here. That is not his the name. Boom, the Boom Boom Awards. Some confusing. People think your name is Goaty Awards. You know, it was Go, the award show you you know, was hosting. He himself Go, is not you... Mr. Goatee Award. I, I knew this would happen. I, I, I want to say I'm surprised, but I knew this would happen. You, you guys want Go. Professor Goatee to show up and you do this. You make him Go. feel so could you, unwelcome. Go. Could you call yourself the Professor Goatee Awards from now on? A big mouthful. Would you like to say something? I could, oh, okay. hypothetically. But that's never going to happen. Why not, Goatee? No. Remind everyone we're my, gonna my do another. My name is Professor Goat, award. and if, if look, I I am tired of everyone misconstruing my name. It's not God. It's not got it. It's not goatee. It's goat. It's very it's very simple. What about Mister Goatee? Leonard Goat. We're, Leonard we're not going goat. over the, to have this conversation. Leonard anymore. from the Big Bang Theory. This week. So just in case anyone didn't get that X O or minus in the correct pronunciation. Very nice. Wait, Goatee, uh, can I ask you something? Goatee. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, go, uh, was it go, Goat? Goat? Professor Goat. Uh, uh, Mr. Professor Goat, can I ask you something? <laughs> Proceed. So if you ever forget, Goat! Ah! Those are goat approved alternative names. You ever forget how to pronounce Professor Goat? So Goatee is one of them. Let's see. Okay, go. Could we call you, could we call you Professor Bum Bum? How about we uh, we forget about my name and we Where just we look at, mo at the mocks. This is why I'm here. I am here to view some incredible, crazy contraptions, not mm -hmm. debate with you about my name, which you have no ability to retain information. You you, you right. two have no ability to retain information. I'm a okay, fan. Go. Get no, out I'm of here. If I was in charge of the goat, how dare you? I want to remind everyone that um, the Goatee Awards Brick Film Festival will return um, 
mid-August, I think we said, for the summer. It's going to be a seasonal event, so we'll probably have more prizes then. Once again, it's a brick film contest. Um, same Excellent. category. For the professor's the real name. Code. The professor's real name is Leonard Sheldon Goat. That's his real name. If you're not on the server and you want to see details and go to awards, um, there's a link in the description. So without further delay, uh, let's dive in. Let's get into this beast. The first one by Kaneki, Hummingbird uh, Gunship. I like to use a portrait photo from a phone. That makes it very easy to see. Looks a bit like a type of escape pod or something from the 2009 Star Trek film, shooting out a ne uh, Nero ship. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, I, I, too, love... Uh... Thank you, Obi-Wan. I mean, it's it's a cool ship. I I was hoping for like a, it, in in my mind, it doesn't fit the mentality of a crazy contraption. It, it feels like it's a very it's still a very cool ship, and I love all the little extra wings and how it kind of extends and stuff. I was hoping I'm hoping we'll get more of that uh, time cruiser style of just wackiness. Uh -oh. But this is very cool. Yeah. Some we'll, we'll see what else we have. And I think the wings actually separate out, so that's kind of a cool feature. <laughs> yeah it's a really great cool model. Pose. great possibility yeah, as usual we're going to tell like... people who aren't participating in the theme but i still want to share the creation but yeah i just, still cool I just feel like there's there's quite a lot of sci-fi ships that just stick to the gray all the time so it's nice to see a, a bit of cheeky green merged in with the gray yes it's a it's a very subtle accent it works very well so other youtube channels get super chats we get discord boosts that's like our super chat Obi-Wan boosted, Bum Bum boosted twice. That's still good. We appreciate it, guys. Pretty cool on um, functionality in this one, though. The Wings photo. I wish we had a better photo. The portrait mode on your phone isn't the best. Oh, sick. John, you're in the Jummy server. That's sick, man. I had no clue. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, yes. This is, like, the only servers that um, my other account's on that I'm using for this. Damn. Let's see... I don't know. I think Nora started this one. I'm not a communist, for the record. <laughs> <laughs> Nora's like, can I start a backup club, Rick? I'm like, sure, I guess. Next thing I know, that's the picture. It's like, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, let's see. Remind you of something you'd see in Halo. Pretty sweet, though. Yeah, yeah. I, does, I, I can kind of see that. Yeah, it does I'm look a little bit like... Um, it does look a bit like a smaller version of a Hornet, to be fair. Like, like they're judging. So, well, Obi Wan, if you ever want advice, we do have mock experts in Club Brick. Ping the mock experts role, and they're more than willing to help you. Or ask Professor Goat while we're here. Absolutely. Johnny Stalin, yeah. Most of my mocks for cool functionality, not looks. And you'll find also that the winner of mock hour is not always the best build. It's a combination of, of the competent builds, which one is the most creative a lot of the times. Absolutely. And like a, a very original functionality, if like. I've always said that sometimes functionality can override um, style or just aesthetic appearance. If it has a cool or clever little gimmick going on, it, it doesn't have to be the prettiest model. It can just be a captivating idea. Yeah. Um, but if you can find a good balance between aesthetic, uh, visual appeal, and functionality, then you have something special on your hands. Definitely. And yeah, it's something to think about. Awesome. So Kaneki also had to share oh, about a police bike. No. What happened, James? I, I was putting some hand cream on and like some fluff and a hair got attached to my hand. Gross. And that warranted an oh no for all the screen to hear. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I like making a lot of moving mechanical stuff. I don't care if it looks too much. Well, as long as you enjoy doing it. Um, but a lot of times, as you're improving the look, you're making it sleeker. In a sense, you're making a more efficient model, too. Like, less pieces are going to chip off and fall as you're moving it. Um, I, dis is, I, I disagree. Um, this looks like, I was so going to say, this looks like a police version of the uh, Bat Boy. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. It kind of does remind me of, like, a Space Police 3 colors of... Uh, it looks like Space Police 3 colors of the of a Bat Cycle. <laughs> Okay, James's mic's working again. Uh, I can't even touch the keyboard because of my hands. So, at the moment, that's but, um, yeah. Yeah, perfect timing to mute me. But um, yeah, it looks like a police version of the uh, bat bike from the uh, Christopher Nolan trilogy. So that's decent banter. Uh, put stud shooters on the side. So about there's what two studs doing? stuck in the shooter. So that's banter. Oh, um, yeah, very nice. Uh, stud shooters on the front too. Um, shape very nicely. Um, is there anywhere where like the figures the can grab onto? 
I guess you can shove the figures uh, off. They just, the back of they just hold on to their... I, I don't want to say it, but it looks like they just hold on to their butt cheeks by this year. That's I mean. what I mean, yeah. They, you just put the figures There's off. On that and up there. Like yeah. uh, the other way around, if you have it, you can stick the legs there, but it looks like uh, it's... It looks like they're meant to be <laughs> they're bending over the back and they just drive him with their ass. <laughs> That's what yeah. it looks like, yeah. It's a little. This may be a little bit too much style over substance. There's nothing to grip the character, but it may mm. not actually be for a minifigure. It could be a slightly different scale. It could be something where, it could be a another scale where you're trying to you have a. Oh, I, I got it! I got it! You're actually so it's the this would be the kind of bike where you're leaning forward on it. It's like a little racing bike, if that makes okay. sense. You know what I'm talking about? Your feet, the kind so of so yeah, yeah, like, feet on the back. And, and then you're leaning forward, and that's how you like reach the top of the controls. Okay. Yes, exactly. Like uh, the Tron light cycles. That makes a lot more sense than butt cheek driving. <laughs> yes. So yeah. that's a very functional, well designed model. I, I, I quite like it. Thinks it's a it would have been funny if the, it would have been funny if it was bum cheek driving, though. That would have been top banter. It can't be. There's only one butt cheek um grip. So there's only I think only they're leg grips, not butt cheek <laughs> grips. Keep that in mind. Mm. Very true. Okay, he also said, I don't have a lot of good pieces for looks, to be honest. I just have a lot of plain pieces, but not enough to make something one car. You can always build oh. digital, I guess. But All I can say, Dooku, is that it's all right. Hello there, Obi-Wan Productions. Well, oh. uh, yeah, sometimes you just have to work around those limitations. And it's... yeah, don't uh, just build what you want. Some, And you have to accept the limitations. You have to accept your parts limitations. Interesting you'll never no find I'm more scum than villainy. Usually you'll see a oh, bomber. Sorry, my rabbit was on. Hey, get the rabbit on the screen, John. Get the no, rabbit on the screen. He's Please. down on the floor and I'm up on the desk. I can't yeah. get it to him. And he's anyone who's doing a brick film, I'm up for playing Obi-Wan. I've realized that I do a good Obi-Wan impression. Give That's me stuff to say. A lot it's Obi -Wan. Give me what stuff to say as Obi-Wan. Professor Goat. We, we, don't, we don't want to incentivize you. Professor yes. Goat. You will let anyway, me win the Mock Awards. You will let me win the Brick Film Awards. Anyway, I was saying it's interesting there's no blue light here. It's usually red and blue with the police lights, but it still works. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a futuristic thing, isn't it? This one looks and a bit plain, though. No offense to everyone. I think it's is it looks a bit plain. Right? It looks a little bit plain. But I've never played Cyberpunk, so I don't know. Oh, your move. Your move. Your move. Your move, Dooku. Is that clown out loud? Uh, the door's closed. Nice. Um, okay. Do a just sack Pat impression. Oh, guys, how's it going? Just sack Pat here. John, watch my bloody meme. There you go. That, that's a good impression of yourself. It's one you can do. Say your move. Your, oh, say your move. He, he just did one. You said it so wrong. He did the impression of himself wrong or Obi Wan wrong. Anyway, um, let's take a closer okay. look at was it. Uh, Rod, yes. You were the chairs and we lined up good. There we go. It's good. Your move. Uh, let's see. I think I can see a pirate on there through the tinted glass. Uh, let's see what else did I say? Boxy in shape, a little wing sticking out, little lightsaber hilt pieces there. Any thoughts, Professor? I, I'm trying to figure out what like the little lightsaber hilts are for. Is it like the exhaust or those weapons? Because. I I think I see the head one here on both sides. Hmm? Um, I'm not sure. I think exhaust would be using more towards the back, isn't it? Well, the thing is, if they're weapons, they just shoot the tire. <laughs> That's a very good point. But... It could be the emergency brakes. Imagine your emergency brakes, you just shoot your own tires. Like an absolute emergency brake. I, I don't believe that's how it works. Here but... we go. This looks sick, lads. I, I, do like, I do like the cockpit, uh, selection uh it is a little bit boxy but i i think it's a fairly coherent build looks fairly yeah, nice i agree i think it's what you set out to do you did it it's pretty cool hot rod none of these so far any of these qualify as a crazy contraption yet or wacky vehicle. yes I, i'm hoping we get some absolutely baffling mocks upcoming yeah. this is definitely a little bit of one i'd say but it's more futuristic than i'm wacky this is uh, definitely why can't we have sure. a wacky future? That is true. I mean, this is an all right contrast of the uh, thing that usually gets tugged, tugging the thing that does the tugging, uh, the Jeep getting tugged by the boat. There you go. I mean, you won't have much luck saving anyone in the sea by doing that, but that's 
that's somewhat wacky with this sort of juxtaposition. Yeah, so yes, I, 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 I do like this. It's a, it's a very simple reversal, but it's appropriately baffling. I, I that was the exact this. example I give. Like the people said, like, what's a rocky like a vehicle? I said something where it flips an arm around like a boat pulling a car. No, wait, I didn't even say for this. I gave a poll for the themes, and one of the theme options I, I had in the poll was like reversals. And, I, the, and my suggestion for reversals was something like wacky, like a boat pulling a car. So this person okay. decided to use that suggestion, even though we didn't choose that theme, I think. Or they could have just thought of it as well. Fair enough. Yeah. It's a pretty funny idea. Wacky contraption. I do like it, just how the truck uh, how the truck doesn't have any wheels and it's just on. <laughs> and you could have just yeah. had this piece of a single set, like a car pulling a boat, and just use that to make the simple reversal. It's funny. I'm a little interested how like up here works. It's a little long about a wheel, but I think it works. Uh, I, I do like this. It's it's very e efficient in how baffling it is. Imagine like going over a jump though. Like there's no shocks. It's the balloon is going to launch you into the air if you don't have a seatbelt on. Maybe, like, maybe that's just just part of the. That's maybe that's a feature. Could be. <laughs> get get you some extra air. That'll uh, give you a little extra thrust. That could work. Definitely. So unlike a normal car, like pulling your boat to the water, you back in this, like if you live out in the sea, you tow your car to land, and then you back out your car. and then. But before you tow your car to land, you sink and die at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> but the car doesn't have any wheels. But it's still going to weigh like a uh, uh, 100k, well, um, 400k G or whatever, or a ton. I don't know how much cars weigh. Sorry to sound like an idiot. We've got a front on angle. got a sunglasses face. Oh, that's Let's cool. It's got like a little, um, what do you call this? The little grill in front. Yeah. In boat. <laughs> yeah, it just breaks down straight away. As soon as it gets in the sea, it just goes. Be nice. And as usual, as soon as I said, we have to judge anything in the background. I don't see much to judge except you chewed on your table. Oof. Uh, some crumbs. <laughs> your cord is left plugged in, a fire hazard. And I think that's about it. And look at that weird cheese grater. No, it's probably a cup holder or a cup pencil holder. Okay, we're satisfied. Very nice. Not much new to see in that angle. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. That's the first truly wacky contraption tonight. Next. Oh, my What's goodness. On? Oh, shit. I'm excited What's for this on? one. Gear ratio. Oh, that is a scary picture. I uh, have a ball launcher on weapon on a bionicle figure. Is it oh, I wish this was the vehicle. I, I, I really like this one. He uh, It's not a, quite a crazy contraption, but uh, he has kind of a a, a Paraka Hakan vibe, if I were to say so. I'm trying to think of which of the Paraka was like the engineer for the weaponsmith, because that is a very intense weapon that looks very appropriate for um, the... <coughs> it's very appropriate for a Paraka. Yeah. I like all the clever parts usage, like using... Um, the mask of invisibility for the shoulders. That's a very nice touch. Ah. It suits the character very well. And yeah, I like the combination of different eras of parts. Like we see parts back from 2004, right alongside from parts that were released in 2008. And then there's parts from 2013. It's a very nice coherent build. And it's, I like the different gunmetal colors all working together. Very nice. Honestly, I mean, that is such an awesome analysis. That is why Goat is missed when he's not yeah. here, man. That was awesome. So if you don't have anything to add, just compliment Goat's analysis. That's your, that's your piece. Well, I don't know what I can say about it. I mean, the weapon looks absolutely massive. That looks like that. I'd do some serious There's some other perspective. There's some other perspectives, too. Could we take a look at, look at those? Uh, yes. I jumped to the second one mid-conversation. I go back to the first one. Okay. Um SFK okay. CK said he chewed his table. It was from he when he chewed. It. I know. We always give the worst possible interpretation, even if it's obviously not, and we judge your surroundings. We know he didn't. It was from my chair okay. falling and I, scraping the edge of chips. I, sure I didn't even notice was. this before, but the shoulder pads are actually uh, different. Go back mm -hmm. to the other picture. Um, he actually uses the 2008 um, <clears throat> mask of light, the corrupted mask of light for the other shoulder pad with the weapon. It looks like it's designed to be like a arrest for that giant weapon and it creates this nice contrast between the gunmetal and the dark red this is a really cool character 
Um, oh. This I, I I do like this character. This guy almost feels like he could be a set, honestly. I agree. Um, uh, very well thought out design. Seems like he's symmetrical, except in the places which don't make him look like mismatched. Yes, it's a the asymmetry work is very well thought out, and I, I like the use of the lightsaber blades. Uh, one of the Paracas oh, Hakan. Oh yeah, in the front, yeah, very nice. Yeah, exactly I like Hakan used. Bro, I didn't even notice. Oh. That's how good they did this. Yeah, oh, uh, whatever thing yeah, I forgot. Hakan was my first Paraka, so he's my he's one of my favorites. Thok is really cool too. We also, by the way, added these little thumbs up, thumbs down reacts as we go. I forgot to mention, just so we can get a feel for what the viewers think when they get to voting. So a lot of people like that one. Just to scroll down quick. But yeah, so far, I think this one had the most likes. But just if we want to weigh that in our decisions at the end. Uh, should we go on? Oh, I already shared some Lego art. Nice little um, intermission of this. 95th Rifleman. Arden is this amazing talent that he uses both digital image of Lego and his own artwork to make like Lego art. He combines them together. He's pretty brilliant at it. Yeah. Very nice. Nice scene there. Of course, you get some sort of like, like a brick arms piece or something like that. It's a slightly over detailed weapon, <clears throat> I'd say. Yeah, true. But it's scaled from minifigure hands. So how, how does that connection work? Like the hands, like you see that? It's like going up. None of those oh. connections work. This is a. Uh, Lego animated series approach to yes. hand movements. But I would love to see this in action. And also a 95th Rifles Officer. James, this is you the best you could look. Like if you completely cleaned yourself up, like dressed to the nines. and I mean... um, Yeah, probably, actually, yeah. Yeah, if I was going into battle, that's what I need to do. Yes, and the point in the very tall hat, so if they try to headshot you, there's like a one third chance they don't hit you. They hit your hat. Exactly. That's how that works. Yes. Oh, just aim for the hat. Very well done. Thanks for sharing, Arden. Okay, we have uh, no a, sound. a tank. Of a course, tank in action uh, by Epic uh, Lego Creations, otherwise known as um D and D. Never, guy? never seen one of these before. We'll look at like a minute of it. It's usually that where we cut it off. Oh, this is copyrighted, um, John, John, John. Yeah, he said mute, it wasn't. Mute. He said Dude, it wasn't. But... I'm going to fight him off. Bum, 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 bum. Don't sing well that... enough that people that we get copyrighted, but don't sing so bad that people um, leave the stream. Leave. So I'd scale yeah. it in between. Yep. Love this jazz. Love this Better action. Yet, don't sing. It's good RC functions on it. I think we've seen... Hmm, I remember this flag on one. He it's pretty much one? does this all the time, yeah. doesn't he, this guy? Um, d d is awesome what you do. I'm nowhere near this good. At the end of the, the day, son, it, but, but it would be nice to see you do some more military vehicles, maybe a big military Jeep. Maybe the main thing I want to see is how many moving functions there is. Like the wheels move, the turret turns, and the gun bar itself. It is amazing, down. nonetheless. It, it just likes as well. Find the lights. I haven't seen that from him before. Very nice, oh. very nice. Mm -hmm. So you could have gone the laser with nothing with just like wheels in the bottom, but you actually made this like fully functional. Everything but shooting it has. And just shoots the, the next camera. Mile. Yeah. Pretty okay, cool. Watch that. Oh. You always want to watch random things. Like in, yeah. in the, <laughs> the old man. When we're doing this in like 50 years, that's like what Professor Goat would look like. Mm. Bomb right, bombard is away. Can we all gather yeah. in one place and do a mock hour intro? We like gather our hands like this one at a time. And sure. We'll synchronize with you. I'm not okay. distracted enough. A bunch of likes I'm on this one. Some of you have a clown react. Shab did. Shab thinks he's a clown. I, I would say that you should stop thinking, but that 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 wouldn't help. Yes, the stream would get would stall. Uh, Admiral Blackbar, new big boy. How long does it take you to make these? You crank them out way too quickly. Uh, <laughs> the only German aircraft carrier ever built and ever finished. The Graf Zeppelin. 15,000 pieces, 215 studs in length overall. Wow. I think a couple of his mo uh, models may recycle a few chass chassis or like some elements. It's much easier to do like a larger digital model because you can copy paste, especially when Very you have true. a system for this. But the fact that each one of these is uh, detailed to accurately reflect the model at the scale is just 
phenomenal. I, I am curious whether Plaque Bar actually has to create a new chassis for every single one of these guys because I think he gets such detail that he like he has to like um to some degree redo each one. <clears throat> but maybe like these little segments here are kind of like repeated these little like um three a absolutely uh, yeah. We always yeah, debating if these are portholes for the crew or they're just like something else because people say no they don't have portholes like in a cruise if it's a military vessel. I love the um the they've got a lot of port they've got a lot of portholes in the navy, haven't they, on the poop deck? Yeah, very nice. Oh, nice use of this little um fence piece here. That is a very old piece. Back to the old little um Lego, like, the little um, I mean, brick bucket used to get. All I'll say is with this boot, you've got to watch out for all the seamen on the poop deck. Very dangerous. Uh, next we have, is this the same one again? I think they're all three the same, different angles. Uh, um, different angle in it. I mean, this is a better look. This is well, a look better look. Guns. I like the now better. We can see the little guns. The, like um, the angle. There's long boats in there, ready to lower down. Yeah, there's a railing. I, so I cool. see a very fa family friendly image, real world comparison image coming up. Uh oh. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, we'll take a look at that after this. I you get a better view of the top deck here. <coughs> very nice. It seems I very that's like, that's like a placeholder for the bad flag. You can yes, fit a lot uh, in there. I, I especially like the detailing. Uh, if you zoom in on the top left, Seeing uh, the little cabling, it's not actually cabling. I'm not sure what quite what th that represents. I think it's oh, that's part of the acceleration track to launch off the vehicle. I believe. Ah, that would not one hundred percent. Not hundred percent on that. I'm I'm not a naval expert in the slightest. I've only been to one battleship once in my life. The day, but it was it was <clears throat> it was impressive. Definitely looks like something loser on that track. Yeah, pretty cool. Bizarre Brick Build says, I want to hear Professor Goat criticize modern art. That'd be nice. Art roast. It could happen. Oh, damn. Bloody hell. You heard it here first. It could happen. How many likes would that be if we'll give you a piece of modern art to critique? Two more <laughs> likes. Two more likes. <laughs> two more. Not two more. A little more than that. Maybe we'll do that as a separate stream. Maybe a building stream. That's a sort of stream. Sort and stream while critiquing modern art. We'll yes, I'm sure that will go over very well. Oh, shit, bum bum sure. yeah. bloody hell. What's Boom Boom got in store for us? Oh, we'll see. At first, what I want to add is um, you weren't here for this goat, but um, DKS, we actually asked him if he like won in a grand prize, he run like an entire boat like this. Akbar made like a real version of the boat with, with the planes intact. Um, would he want it? Or would he just take the plane? He said he'd just take the plane and fly away and be happy as a clam. He'd just leave the whole boat behind. That's all he'd want. Okay. He's a very, well, he's a plane fanatic, isn't he then? He, yeah. he knows what he wants. So here's you could probably get multiple planes out of the deal. They're the holes we were wondering mm -hmm. about. So. Okay. Awesome. I'm not going to keep that symbol on screen for too long. Uh, but it is just history, guys, try to remember. I'm, I think this okay. deserves a like react. Yeah, absolutely. It's a phenomenal model, like Plaque Bar always does. I do not know how he People does like it. this. Give me even thumbs up the historical one. Oh no! Who is it? Gonkers. Oh. Shame on it's you. It's specifically a historical uh, goatee day recreation. Well. There's goat. Why no other association is going on there. Goat. Professor, you Why like did you it? give it a like? I'm disgusted. Um, that uh, that is character is not affiliated with me. Um, oh, okay, I thought you no, were no, Autobot no. goatee. I was really concerned. Hey, that said, Autobot goatee. For the record, and that is a deviant unit, and I yeah. had no rogue, part in its creation. A rogue loose unit. The best thing about Autobot Goatee is anytime someone says um hello there, it responds to General Kenobi. It's pretty clever. General Kenobi. And whenever someone says yes, dead chat, it animated. has like it has like a dozen different possible suggestions what you should be doing with your time. You say dead chat. <laughs> uh let's see. Loser gnome, a little harsh in himself. Are you someone else? No, you pretty new. Uh, a Lego mock oh. I made months ago. I destroyed it because it was too ugly. Oh no! Yeah, it is. An, it is an ugly boy, but you can get away with that with Star Wars. Like it kind of reminds me yeah. of the. It kind of reminds me of the. It reminds me of the Twilight from two thousand eight, actually. Like uh, that junker ship that 
Anakin found <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Uh, souped up. Uh, it kind yeah. of has that aesthetic, in my opinion. Absolutely. It's a not the most fun to look at mock, but hey, it's got size and it looks like it would be fun to play yeah. with. You got a few snot techniques going on, and it looks like it can, can support a full interior. It, looks it also like has a, like a cargo hold up front, which is cool. I think it's like the Millennium Falcon as a Minecraft mod. That's what I'm seeing it as. I mean, if this was around in 2011, people would write this. Like, if you see the Lego Star Wars mocks from 2011 and some of the bases they made, they were, they were very basic building techniques. The, some of the 2011 ones were decent. Um, but, like, the thing is, you have to compare it to what was available at the time yeah, and true, what we yeah. can do now. Like, I think um, it wasn't around then, so. Or it wasn't as popular. It, it, was, it was around, but you have to. To keep in mind, like the sets, uh, like the parts we have now, like um, you have to realize that over the years, Lego designers are building on each other. They are learning all these techniques from each other, and they're learning it from the Lego communities. They're bouncing all these yeah. ideas off of each other, and we're getting more and more complex designs and mm -hmm. parts as a result. So um, you can't, you have to judge uh sets by their time as well as mocks because like um pe people with certain levels of experience and exposure uh may not know every technique and you have to learn that as you go and some people will learn at different rates some people will have different exposure to different uh lego builders and that'll affect their building style so uh just keep innovating and keep building things slightly different slightly bigger or smaller and better just always seek to innovate no matter what you build that's, that's talking, what I, talking that's of cool. being different and innovative look at this beast exo says bebop exo force trust oh it's karzani sim karzani let's take a look by M, um gem gf customs wannabe okay i i quite like this uh it's very suitably Karzani. Uh, Karzani is uh, basically, um, he's basically the Bionicle Devil. What he does Ooh. is like he'll take, uh, he'll take Matoran and he'll mutilate them. So they're oh, all no. sort of disfigured into <coughs> his own ideal. And uh, that is um, the Toa in Ignica, before they became the Toa Ignica, were uh, captured on the uh, Karzani's island. Uh, for a while oh, no. before they eventually reached uh, Voyanui. And I, I do love this very slender... He was actually not released as a set in this version. He eventually reappeared in the Kajranui arc of 2007. But seeing him in this uh, design, I really like just how skinny and frail and deformed he looks. He's very skeletal. It's uh, like... Karzani is usually displayed uh, as this very large character he's like bulky and i i love this interpretation of this very uh skeletal karzani um and I, I love the use of the torso piece as well i believe that was split face from hero factory it has the two different sides to him and Ooh. i think that that uh reflects karzani's personality very well i am I love the oh, mixture of the size the difference, lads. Bloody hell. That's how tall he was. The weapon's yeah. bigger than the other bionicle. Oh, yeah. He, Wait this. Second. I've noticed something very alarming. This was photographed by a vampire. He's not in the mirror. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, 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 that is alarming. It could just be the angle. It could be, but a vampire is much better for our ratings. Does he have some numbers on his head? Does he have a few numbers on his head? Or uh, who did? Uh, the guy. I have no idea what you're referring to. The, oh, six. The bottom the, head. The three six. I was just saying. No, no, no. I was on about. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, the three sixes. The devil can't be seen in the mirror. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh uh, no. I like your well, man. Her, Karzani's like. right there. Does anyone yeah. else watch? No, well, he's the real devil, isn't he? Let's be real. Just says man. The poster. Yes, man. And we my have a favorite, a... my favorite Diz Diz Plus series. <laughs> um, I never realized how deep Bionicle lore was until about a year ago, and when I watched Lego um, Rewind, I, I had that's the angle. Like that's just the beginning. You have to realize there is so much to Bionicle lore, and like uh, 
I have all I have, mm. I made the mistake of collecting all the novels. So yeah, Ooh, it's it's a good reading. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. I wonder how it's, good a law video would do. I I don't know. Um, like there are Bionicle channels, and if anyone wants to bring up Bionicle with me, I'm hardly an expert, but I do enjoy the fact that Bionicle has a very coherent mythology. Yeah. Relatively, mm-hmm. it's Excellent. mostly coherent. And then Greg Farsky just goes wild. He's both amazing and the worst thing to ever happen to Bionicle. But yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry That's for so going like on a rant. Like the whole lore. Um, no, uh, that, that's no, enough for you, now. Can you, well, could you maybe uh, recreate the Barnacle trailer with your voice? That'd be quite good. Cool. No. Anyway. Oh. Yes. I, I love how skeletal and how menacing he is. He stands over all of the standard Toa sets. How many likes until you do a rap video of Yo-Yo Paraka? <laughs> a billion. What? Oh. And you know what yes. we can do with the bot in the server? Every time someone says Yo Yo Proc is successful, we can give a little gif of you doing from the rap video with like little sing along captions. How about no? Who is Come on, idea? Go boom. Yo Yo Proc, that's his XO. Anyway, um, cool angle here, just showing off the serum size of him next to the um, smaller one here. The toe one, yeah. The toe one. Awesome. XO says, like Gold, please. That, that's not how it works. Coach, please. You said it Hexo's voice. I mean, I really like this um, small train. Goldy! A diorama of a small station. A small state. Where's the train? Um, the right in front of it. it. Yeah. I just and think popcorn no. here, but it works. It seems quite peaceful. I like the I like the barges that stop it, like how they how they shape like that. Like looks quite nice. It's almost I, like I a large this... down the train. I don't think know if that's actually a snow plow. I think that's just the snow just being blown out of the way out of the front. Ah. Oh, oh so, yeah, you're probably right. Like, yeah. It, oh. And like if you see all the smoke coming out of it using all those little cylinders. Um, pretty, pretty good. Um, I like uh, the snot pieces up front combined with um there's quite quite a few snot techniques going on up front. That's fairly Fairly interesting. What does snot um, techniques a lot of mean? Good work, yeah. uh, the steam going like. Psh. That's not actually snot. The snot is on uh, is on the f- the front model along the along the cylinder. Oh. Like if you zoom in, you see uh, all the little two by twos, slope curved slopes. Upside down. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a snot technique then. Yes, yeah, snot yeah. is studs not on top. And it's when you start oh. building sideways. Oh, okay. So yeah, That's really cool. um, like uh, this is pretty good. I think you may have gone a little bit overboard with all the little mechanisms on the wheels. That's a uh, pretty busy. Looks pretty chaotic. I'm not you sure. You might be able to get away with like half the height of the smoke if you really wanted to. <laughs> but it's cool. I though. guess it makes it feel more big and grand. And EXO, please don't spam. Please don't. That's so. We'll put you in timeout. Don't do it. It's not used in the entire boiler and also on the coaches. Can I yeah, turn I, this? I, can, I can see that. Can I make this? Sorry, Obi Wan production. Okay. Sorry about that, son. I just don't know. I'm a casual when it comes to Lego compared to Should the. Should I gross everyone out? Called out. Yeah. Should I gross everyone out about this build or no? Sorry. Should I gross everyone out with an observation about this build or no? Yes, um, yes, 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 yes. I've been overruled. Okay. Okay, so we know when you use the restroom, you can tell if you're dehydrated or not by the color of your pee. If the dark yellow, you're uh, dehydrated, it's clear. So this is like in between. It gets somewhat hydrated, somewhat not. It's like a, a good medium. Right. Some, some, of it's water water it. some of it isn't pee. Some of it's something else. Snow. Okay. Or cocaine. You went from gross to disgusting. Shame on you. <laughs> cocaine should be the toilet. Anyway, um, oh, we can see the driver sticking the head out there. Uh, what is that head? M has, a very, M has a question for us. It's a question. Who does? Exo means for your goat. Oh, do you goat like goat. me? That's a bit of an odd question to ask. He bloody said goat. Are you serious? Yeah. That's a bit weird. Yeah. Ugh, bloody hell. He does. That's a bit strange. Bop the snot like boop the snoot. 
But don't bop the snot. The snot is fine as booping a snoot. If you try to do boop the snoot, we have any other dog, angles? I'd like uh, to see. Do. I was admiring this headpiece, though. What is it? Headpiece? It looks like a minifigure torso sticking out. No, it's a minion. It has to be a minion. It has to be a minion from Despicable Me. I have no idea what it is. It's hard. It's too low quality, too low resolution for me to tell. Anyway, we got a few more angles here <clears throat> from the back here. Okay, but got an interesting recolor of a windscreen piece in the back. Works pretty well. And you see some snow gathered up here, snowy tree. You can see head on right here, plowing the snow out of the way. <clears throat> Ardent Four says maybe you guys should give each maka a rating out of ten. Um, I don't no. feel like that's I don't feel like that's appropriate for most mocks unless you're specific. I think it's more constructive. That's just hair. Oh, just a hair. Um, okay, the hair was on the belt. I feel like if this was like a, we're we're not looking for. We're not rating in this segment. We're uh, we're going to pick out the best one at the end, but and we might pull out criteria then. But this isn't a this isn't a contest specifically. Yes, this is the real presser goat. He's finally here. Especially since, let's be frank, none of these are that crazy of contraptions. We yes. I, I want to see raw chaos in mechanical form. Bring out the Rube Goldberg machines. I know there's at least two ones that people talk about. Ardents and um, Bum Bum, I think, made two crazy ones. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> uh, but, yeah, fairly nice not, mock. Not too much new to see from this angle, but great job overall. Give that one a like as well. What are we going to do when there's all these pictures? I'm just going to like the top one, the top photo for each one that we like. We'll go by that. And also another one by Rise Comics, my first two entries in the Wacky Vehicles contest. Oh, so you actually are entering it. Are this Camelback and the Electric Wedge. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, let's see. What makes this one wacky? Is it the um the, the funny motor here? Yeah, those look quite big. The train doesn't look long enough, neither, and the colors are all really weird. It, it sort of looks like bulky and chunky, in my opinion, some of it. But, I mean, it ain't like next level bonkers. I, I I concur with that assessment. I, I really like the mock. It's very it's very strangely proportioned. I, I still wouldn't qualify it as a crazy contraption. This feels like a unique tank. This feels like a a, a unique train engine. I want to feel I unsafe say it's crazy. boarding it. I want to feel unsafe boarding your train for it to be a winner tonight. Damn. Yes. Uh, brick rating is like Facebook post. What do you mean what? by that? Excel? Petrified goat. It's a real goat. It's not petrified goat this time. Okay. I I uh, I do quite like that. We Ooh, don't get to see too. sand. It's more of a sand green color going on. Um, as a compliment, it works against the black very well, and I wish we saw that more. Sand, sand uh, blue isn't very prominent in uh, Lego. It's very hard to get a lot of in certain colors. So even if it's just in mocks, it's in digital mocks, it's nice to see. Yeah, for sure. Okay, next up we have an Imtron styled mock. What did they say at the top? Let me scroll up real quick. They said Camelback and the Electric Wedge. So is this one the Electric Wedge? <clears throat> I suppose so. Oh, would you that? Let's see. Um, so that goes on the uh, wire, so it's almost like a um cable car. Yeah, uh, very much has an Imtron vibe in the color scheme. The red, white, and black is a very Imtron aesthetic. I'm not sure if that's neon green up front. Looks more like trans yellow to me. I think it's yellow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do. I do like the. I do like that we see an electric car, or, uh, electric train car in these colors. It's very nice. Very nice. Some uh, fairly interesting techniques, and I like that you worked oh, in a yes. little bit of snot there. Bizarre coming. It's wacky because the cab straddles the boiler. Okay. You, you will not start a your mama train in the chat. I thought you meant like a chain. No, don't. Yeah, I, I do. I do like uh, that element. It makes it feel extremely. There is something off about it. There is something off about it. Just not. It 
wacky keep, in my opinion. Keep in mind that Rise is always making trains, so this is like a how to adapt um, the train style. Uh, pretty cool. Thanks for sharing. Okay, Bizarro has something for us. Bizarro, here you, we go. I'm up how much have you seen past week? Some Bizarro always has a giant metropolis we're sharing different scenes of. But he builds like giant. You got to see a bigger view of it here. He's always building ones, and laughably, he always ends up having to destroy them for one reason or another. Uh, it happens. It's, it's a new model coffee cycle. shop. It's open for business, and sometimes you can find him hidden inside there. Hmm. We have James's dad over here, of course. Hmm. Uh, I don't like. I don't know. There's some leg piece. There's some separated um shorts and socking. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that piece. Probably one of the collectible minifigures, maybe a newer city set that I haven't it's, gotten. It's relatively new. I think it's on some of the pick a uh, pick a build a minifigure um, okay. stations at the Lego store nowadays too. Let's see. Um, but fairly nice co colors. It has a very Starbucks vibe with the uh, dark green and uh, earth tones. It looks uh, pretty nice. Bizarre is my broth. You mean bro? <laughs> You would join me at work. Oh, thanks for sneaking us on while you're at work. Don't get in trouble. Uh, the replay is always up afterwards. Let's see. So here inside the coffee shop, we got a whole um menu here. Let's All see. right. Oh, Professor, we actually have a chance for you to critique some modern art right here. <laughs> Would you like to critique that? That is disturbing. Um, but I was hoping for something. A little bit more weird. There's a figure I got last time I went to Lego store talking about that the one with the shorts. No broth, B R O T H. I, I would say that there. this I'm not even sure I'd call that modern art. I, I would just call that somewhat Can absurdist. I, Someone getting like zapped. Drug, looks like a bit of a drug trip. You know what it reminds me of vaguely? Do you remember in the obscure Ninjago episode where um that with um Sensei Wu's tease? <laughs> and he catches them when they've all they all done the tease. And like, have you been like in my secret tease? And they're all like, no. And they're all in like different states of like abomination. I think like um, I think like Jay has like one arm, it's like a tentacle or something like that. And that kind of looks like it right there. It's like one tentacle arm. One tentacle arm and looks like a tentacle leg as well. The best part of that scene is like, where did Kai learn to fly? And like, uh, internet. And he's like, checks out. Like he bought the excuse. Hmm. How about this art? Any judgment on these two? Is that Which ones? Is this a man holding? Is that lipstick? Or makeup? What is it? Looks like he might have been like stabbed it, in the hand. It looks like lipstick. It looks very blunt and sharp. It could be a knife. But he's like half tan. I'll, I'll check. I'm gonna check Brickling real quick. <laughs> we can pack dress on that. And I, I, I need to find that. Also, that tile on the right, I'm not sure that's official Lego. The two by three uh, oh, yeah. almost looks like a, like a Barbie silhouette. I need I need to do research. This is very important. Could it be like inside the Disney castle? That's true. It could be a, one of those silhouettes. I'm going to uh, check for both real quick. Oh, and I spotted Bizarro. Here he is. Hmm. Okay, so... Happy. Minifigure with lipstick pattern. That one is real, and it is part of the Friend Central perk. Okay, that makes sense. Now for the other one, I, I thought it was like Two Face because he's like painting half his face of it. Bizarro, Bizarro says it's from the Frozen set, so there you go. Some good ah, trivia. okay. So that's Elsa. The Frozen right? set. Interesting. That 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 does awesome? check out. I'm not sure if it's Elsa per se, but. Awesome. So there's Bizarro we spotted. It was on Black Raspberry Head. And here we can see a, a zoomed out shot of the city itself. Oh, there's Santa very early this year because it seems like there's hmm. no snow on the ground. Yeah, I mean, it is almost July. Very nice. Uh, let's see. He's enjoying his time, isn't he? Swimmers on the beach. Um, you know that thing on the right, that like fountain type thing? I haven't seen that before on his build. So that's yeah. Well, oh, not it's an ice cream shop, I think. I think it's an ice cream shop. shop. Interesting. Very nice. 
Thanks for sharing. I won't spend too much time because we have looked at the city several times in the past, but it's, we love seeing updates on it. So thanks for sharing. Okay, this this one looks more wacky with its design philosophy. There's a steam log hauler. That is wacky. Let's see for the wacky vehicles contest. That one's definitely more wacky. I love how the I love how the steering wheel is just totally detached from everything else. It is a very concerning build. How it's just ahead of the boiler and everything. The proportions on this thing seem totally off. This does not feel like a co coherent model. And this is closer to what I'm looking for for a wacky creation. The and the treads as well, they're quite banterous. Yes, exactly. All this, there's nothing about this mock that makes sense. And like this is much more appropriate. This is a wacky train tank ab abomination. By the way, I don't think I've said that. If anyone's joining us for the first time and you want your creation shared, just we have a link to the Discord in the description. Go there, post it in the feature my mock section, and you'll see it tonight if you hurry. If okay. not, we'll see it next week. Okay, so apparently it's a real thing. So scroll down. It is. Like um, I he oh, said wow. it was. Uh, she said it was based on a real thing, but I didn't realize it was it's like this. Really is there. I I thought there were creative liberties taken, but this is. Fairly accurate representation of this abomination of a vehicle. I want to watch like 10 seconds of it. You know, I don't always video like 10 seconds. All right, let's, let's do it. I'm not going to get copyright. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a log hauler, so I guess the logs would go in that entire back station. There we go. Like if you did birthday parties, this is the contraption I see you arriving in. And the kids go, yay, as you pull in the driveway, the goat mobile. Um, I, I have uh, a more uh, civilized contraption, a my uh, lab vehicle, than uh, what, this. What, what, are your, what are your wheels, goat? What do you drive around in? Um, <laughs> a Peugeot 406. Yes. Oh, damn. And, uh, what Maybe. if the what if the killdozer guy came out and made his brand, his grand appearance and this is all he came up with? He's like, Vengeance is mine. He's like going around that like snail speed and <laughs> oh he's going back now. Well. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, well, we have something car. interesting coming up. Uh, let's see what it is. I'll give it a thumbs up first. Great job. King Kong what we've got up next, King Kong Slong. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> if you thread a paperclip through a Lego chain, it allows some really cool poses for mocks and stop motion animations. Quite yeah. illegal, but I'll let it slide because that's a kind of cool. It's for a pose rather than like a build itself, though, just for the animation. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm okay cool. with that. He's eyeing that nuclear popsicle very angry. I like the I like the term nuclear popsicle. Well, the car looks very radioactive, but. Who knows? Very nice. Thanks for the tip. You got well eight likes on this now. One of the most popular comments of the night. So next we have by Sir Vowelless Name. I cannot pronounce six eight four. Uh, a car which can't decide which way is front. Perfectly symmetrical, and that makes it wacky almost. It's a bit like cat dog, except an automobile version. Except it's car car. Hmm. It reminds you of like a car is going by, like and you see the reflection of it, and it kind of like is a point where it's like mirrored. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not concerned. I'm just disappointed. Professor Choke. King Kong Dong of a bomb. Okay. <sighs> disappointed. Professor Go There actually was another Professor um, themed build last week. You missed. Some made a professor goat um dragon who's an abomination you created in your lab. So if we have time, I might zoom up to that at the end of the stream. No comments. Yeah. I think you'll like it. Arden came up with it. So does this okay. one get a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Definitely <clears throat> a thumbs down. Oh no. Like uh oh. Like it would be one thought, thing if you committed to the bit, it'd be wacky. But this doesn't go far enough. It's a very simplistic design, and if you're going to go for wacky, this is a 2 out of 10 for effort. What if I had Sorry. a steering wheel on both sides? It had no reverse settings, had to switch seats when you want to go the opposite way. That'd be better. 
It would be a step in the direction. That would be a three or a four. It was dinosaur, John. You're getting old. I was a dinosaur. Dang it. I am getting old. Professor after he went to Fur Affinity. What? I'm not sure. Next by Defaulty Haskins, we have... Oh, you left the server. How dare ha! you, sir? Uh, so we're going to give minimal attention. Let's see. My Lego Minecraft world. Uh, I'm just kidding. Let's look at it. I have been working on it for years. The photo take. The photo taken a couple months ago. Uh, All right. It still cool, seems. Though. It's mostly Minecraft <laughs> sets, but the layout's fun. Not. Nothing super exciting about this. This is just a fun I mean, diorama of sets. Yeah, I mean, it is just Minecraft sets, as you say, but it's nice to see a little Minecraft where you've got each biome, you've got a village, you've got a pirate yeah. ship, you've got like under, you know, a mine in the top right corner. Uh, you've got a TNT block. You've got loads of different little Minecraft things. Uh, you've got a mush little mushroom island too. They know their Minecraft lore. And it just seems quite nice and cool, to be honest. It's made really well. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, uh... it's, all, it's all sets, but it comes together and make a nice scene. Even though even they're left, so it's crap, actually. Screw you. <laughs> okay. Um, someone <laughs> yeah. has a comment. Someone. Uh, my name is pronounced how you spell it. Just say letter. So something... You could try There's something no actual. You vowels. could try an actual Soft. something with vowels would help because Soft this is. The, do you know how many syllables that would have? Even if you just tried to say it without. Yeah, it, it'd be. It would be. The, it would be like a schlo. Uh, I'm like a speaking parcel tongue in Harry it Potter. It would be like a slur. You have to speak like the snake language in Harry Potter. Parcel tongue. Exactly. I don't speak <laughs> for the feet. Oh, thanks for feedback on Double Fun Cry. It was a fun idea. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. It. It's, you could have leaned, if you leaned it into it more like a double decker couch situation, you, if you committed uh, to the bit, it would have, it will, it would have worked out better. So of course, so of course. We have a pronunciation. Oh, Brian, yeah, Another question. What do you guys think of the micro of Minecraft sets? I like they're, that they're more affordable in a sense. You get more because there's less, but. And they're probably easy that. to display. They actually have a more con consistent scale. The minifigure scale Minecraft sets are totally inconsistent. As play sets, I really like them because they encourage creative building, unlike what this person did. Um, but oh, like uh, with the, the micro world scale, it's still inaccurate, but it's more consistent. Harkronium EX is here. Hello. How's it going, yeah. oh, Crony? People okay. come in to share the build maybe. Uh, Meepinator has the Hunter, which is on his click if you want to check it out. A slightly uh -huh. illegal connection going on with the Gatling gun, but I approve. Pretty cool. Get the, I, get I, like the, the I like the leg design. It's very unusual. Very spider-like that um, ends in the points. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, this is a somewhat crazy contraption. Um... I'm not sure if I would count it as crazy. I would say it's an out of the box and surreal design, very alien and otherworldly. I do, I do like that. Uh, how Our crony, says, okay. good. Might build something next week. Take a break. And I won twice, by the way, goat. Congratulations! I'm champion. How annoyed would you guys be if I had like this going whole stream? Like, where is it? No, there's like a this one. Just the content going in the news. <laughs> I'm okay with it. It, it's not too distracting. I, I could do like Lego news going on the bottom of something. That would be kind of cool. Like new Star Wars that announced. How many different news things can you have on it? Or is it just the same block of text over and over again? Um, I can choose different ones whenever I want. So I can just like make it be a quick news flash that pops up and scrolls by. So I could save like a bunch of them if I wanted. But, yeah. I don't know. By the way, anyone, everyone be sure to hit the like button, by the way. Uh, there was something else I had to say, but I cannot remember it now. I guess we'll keep scrolling. Uh, next. Oh, another look at Bizarro City at nighttime. I like the lighting. Wait, is it uh, nighttime? A different perspective yeah. of the I same building. Yeah. And there Got he is, um, some... the man himself. Lighting's very nice. The reflection off the ground's really cool. I don't know like the In that jacket. You remind me of Michael Jackson in Thriller. With the hair on the um, jacket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm. I try to remember what the 
on Let's the get second floor. Here. Will Exo finally talk when I'm here? Hopefully. Uh, let's see. Posted my newest mocks. Managed to scrounge up some money for a new mock. Been spending a lot on art commissions. Okay. Great. Jeremy. Oh, that's right. You're posting some art commissions in the um, server. We have Arden here who is like just asking for requests all the time. Can I make art for you guys? And you're, you're paying someone else to do it. Some, so sometimes. That's the city has that evolved in. So every week I'm super proud of it. Oh, we love seeing it. We're just teasing. I'm just saying like sometimes we don't go sl that slow on it just because like a lot of the stuff we have seen already. We just focus on yeah. what's new. John, can I join now, Poggers? Uh, the rest no. of go do you want? Oh. No. No. He said no with a smile. You oh. said earlier you think he's a cool guy? Uh, yes, he's so a James. Make sure to definitely not send the stream link to EXO. In fact, you should send it to him just so he knows what link not to join. Yeah. No, uh, let's I get have to do a face reveal soon. We see your face right there. Don't feel obligated to do a face reveal. Like here, here's the thing: the only reason I did a face reveal was because I inadvertently did that already by accident. So. No point. Yes. Cat's out of the bag there. Um, there you go. So, yeah. Oh, like, no, uh, I won't join. Never mind. Uh, okay, ooh. bye then. You can send the link. Do you want but, to send the link, James? I already did, like, twice. I don't think... <laughs> you, you have the link. You basically, the link. what I'm getting at is don't do a... Don't show your face as a publicity stunt. Do it because it's what you want to do and it's for the content you want to create. Don't just do just it too, for the sake of it. It's not just too good. He had that um oh what's it called? You know that bug like bug mask all the time. Um Prime Mantis, just, that's it. Yeah, that mask on. yeah. For ages and ages and ages. And then he did a really a face reveal in a really unique way because he might look like a mistake at first when he uploaded it. And I thought, is this actually just too good? Or is this some random guy just too good got? But no, it's him and he did then he did a video later, a stream where he showed his face and it was really cool. So Yeah, like I there was a bit, it was kind of kind of a stunt maybe, but I do respect that he wants to do something different and he wants to make it That's more cool. of a reflection of himself rather than being behind the mask. Oh, just and the man, just, yeah. Again, you should do again. again, you should do that because it's what you want to do for the content you want to create. You can communicate more by seeing someone's face in a way. So just, just think about what you want to do go. when you do that. Um, uh, but I do want to mind, we do try to limit like three submissions per week. We'll also take a look at it. Uh, here was a 2662 articulated locomotive based loosely on the Chesapeake and Ohio Western Maryland Scenic Railroad, 1309. I, I like the use of like the little stair elements up front at that angle. Very clever. It's a powerful look to it too. Oh, yes. It's a very sturdy looking train. I, I, I quite like this design. I like the little spaced um, indents here. What do you call mm -hmm. them? Very nice. It, that, that's just part of the, the part that he's using. Um, yeah, that's just built into the part. It's a very nice nice detail, though. I couldn't tell if I was laughing or crying, but it's laughing. Like, what is that noise? Uh, absolutely phenomenal work. And I don't know how to describe all, all the parts usage or, like, all the train terminology, but I do like uh, how smooth everything is. There's a very... Consistent design. I I really like the I really like the boiler and everything going along the column. It gets a little bit bland near the back, but other than that, it looks phenomenal. Yeah, well done. Very big piece in front here. Almost looks like two hands grasping a platform. And of course, you get the night shot all lit up. Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Next by Derpy Hooves. Ah uh, yes. Has... Wonderful lighting as always. <laughs> I mean, this is uh, oh, XO's here, XO, and then he just leaves to be an edge lord. There we go. Hello, XO. XO, can you talk for once, please? He's talked many times. Say hi to the professor. <laughs> is that no. it? No, say hi to Professor Goat when he says his name correctly. Uh, yes, it's the crew. Oh, yes, no. you've got that, that does John. Not you've like got that. me. That is you, that John. It's like the you. John. It's the Pat, and it's the I don't know someone. I don't know. Exona, that's yeah, you. My Exona eyes are not room. like why? Yeah, that's that? me. Hey, James is kind of like him. No, John, yours is the most accurate one. That Where's your exactly goat? Like you. 
I mean, skill color is wrong, but the face is pretty accurate. Mm. XO is actually making a Lego board game that features me, but I have no understanding of the rules. Because like XO, me, I'm like playing the skateboard. Not the board game, a video game. A video, a video game. You I said video Lego, game. Though. Get XO, feature we'll... ears check, please. Exo, will, will we get a fast reveal from you? Exo, will we get a fast reveal from you? As goes to the fast reveal. I'm not going to answer. No fast reveal from Exo, then. He's just... He showed off his very big lips and his last... That's the closest you're going to get. What That's was just it? Exo. He was just... Anyway, his... um, Derpy Hoops car here. Poor lighting. We can still make out a good bit of it. Uh, connection Whoa. here. Dangerous. Two different types of claw pieces there. It's a nice little like roll cage effect. Cool. Oh, I see one of them little Minecraft builds. Oh, I like yeah. the use of this little um. Show off the your set while you're at it. Oh, I need. Really I like flexing. Like... Okay, I don't care. I like flexing. I want let's have, let's have some fun. Yes, you you own a set that still cannot be sold for more than retail price. Any plans to the club or coast? You don't even know how much how much it costs. Here, how much it costs here? You want to know? Fair enough. Oh, Fair enough. You have, to, you have to think of us still how we can coordinate that. I like how you have like the mailbox piece built into the bed of the truck. It's kind of a cool touch. Yeah, I, I do like I do like this model a good bit. It's a little bit unpolished, I feel like, but all the little designs, it feels like a very practical design. I do I do quite mm -hmm. like it. A very rickety truck would have like a light weight off to the side there, so it almost works. Yeah, a decent amount of snot. I like how open the the top feels it's a very rugged looking vehicle so what are you showing us he's getting the unboxing doing... unboxing yeah. you're doing an unboxing stream during mock hour yeah because it's a lego four Ooh, has a it, comment it converts off who does Arden four? Oh, i answered that a minute ago but um we haven't really discussed it a lot yeah we gotta still figure out how we'll get the logistics of that will work very nice build Exo, have you made any progress on the game of me and the the gang and the raptor headed guy and everything else? No, I'm playing. I'm getting new PC first. You're oh, actually gonna program it. You're actually yeah. gonna program the game. Wow. I, I, I mean, will I mean, play it. It's gonna be easy because it's gonna it's be not on worth it. I will Exo. play it on the stream. So, what game is this, man? Uh, escape, so skateboarding meets, uh, meets shooting. Okay. Yes, the game involves me trying to go on a skateboard ramp, and there's a gang, all of which are African Americans, except for one person of a raptor head, are trying to shoot me off the, the skateboard ramp, and that's all the there, rules there, I there, know. There will be, cool there, there, will be more, there will be more characters. Don't worry. Rabbit not... season. Deck season. Rabbit season. Deck season. Rabbit I'm season. Here, I'm just here for the character. I'm, I don't even like original Looney Tunes. I, li I like the show more. Then the one the 2011 show. The 2011 show. Yeah, that was my favorite. Besides the intro, intro was horrible. I hate. I hate it. This one has nine likes now. One of the big, the highest totals we've seen. Next by Blaze Builds, we have a monster truck contraption here. A tiny little cabin compared to the wheels. Of course, that's always the case in monster trucks. I feel like it's even more so in this one. I do. I do like that because this. This okay. Now we can actually talk about a mock. Thank you. Um, I, I like how, like, this isn't just a monster truck. This is a monster monster truck. The tires, each tire is bigger than the car. I like that a lot. It's the, it's the chat of the truck. The big kahuna. Yes, it's, uh, I, I, I quite like just how ridiculously large the wheels are. Those are some of the largest wheels Lego's ever produced. Yes. Can't get any bigger unless you're a brick building it. Unless you use like that giant battle wheel that had some castle in the early 2000s, the trolls had like use that four of those. Those are like brick built, those don't really count as a wheel piece. Looks absolutely Ex bad. Bum Bum asks, where's the Lapin version of him? We gotta make a minifigure of him. Uh actually how does how the, what does Lepin looks like actually? Because I never actually saw what Lepin looks like. He just means like a, a minifigure of him. We call it Lapin version because they're all no, I mean for real, how how does Le Lepin toys look like? Like for real. The pen looks like Lego, like it's the closest knockoff of Lego, but they're they're false sort of stealing people's mocks and selling them as sets. Do you have pictures of it? You can just Google it. I'm not gonna pull up during stream. Uh Professor Goat Four has a question. Uh Professor Goat, no. have you ever used illegal building techniques? Um I have some. 
uh, especially a long time ago. Hey, Enzo, did you know you have a mute feature? Um, I, I, just, I just show him where it is. Ah, thank you, thank you. You're you're very you're very helpful. Um, I I have used some illegal building techniques. Yes, um, I mostly in the past, uh, and there's certain levels of there's different degrees of Ill illegality. I'd say there's certain things that you're kind of bending the rules. I feel like you you're doing, and then there's other things like what Space Bunny does, which is totally breaking the rules. Um, like um, rubber bands are have a very specific mechanical purpose, but he'll use that specifically to hold a model together, and that's a that's a little bit crude. Um, but again, there's degrees of illegality, and there's been points where things have been illegal, where Lego techniques have been legal that right. have been made illegal, and parts techniques. That have been Yo, illegal. this is getting weird now. Why? Bazooms? No reason, XO. No reason at all. There are illegal techniques that have been made legal. Um, in, parts in part due to changes into how the parts are designed so that they cause less stretch of stress on the element when you use them that way. Technically, a lot of uh, st snot techniques we conventionally use are illegal because you may not know this. But uh, the Technic uh, hole on a Technic brick is slightly higher than the hole on a snot brick, like uh, just a one by one with a stud. And if you're not very, very careful, you may actually get uh, those angles off. Professor, how do you hear it twice? How do you think? How do you I couldn't begin to guess. Anyway, Derpy Hooves is back of an updated version of the ones we saw. Still have, like, cave lighting. I'm not sure why. Everything still works as it did on this one. Uh, Looks like we have some extra weaponry going on. Why? There's no reason, XO. No reason at all. Whoever is there are the illegal team. techniques that have been made legal. Um, in part due to... I'm tired of playing Find the Sound. The audience doesn't like it either, so... <laughs> Professor Gotti, ah, ah, ah. Thank you for your podcast. <laughs> Professor Gotti. Gotti. Oh my goodness. What would you say about if we ever make a club look like auto tune like theme song? That's going to be a part of it. Yeah. If you if you do, I'm going to copy strike you. I'm going to take this copyright video. Down. Strike. Oh my goodness. You, you're this on my show. Down. This is my, I own everything set on this. You, this is my content. I will, I will still I try to take it down for, for you for using my, my without permission and <laughs> also, also, also being very. Uh... <laughs> Why am I here? It's, it's on my show, so I, I now know. own that voice clip. Why do we live? Says, Why do we what exist? Say about What's the point of living? Why don't we keep going? Into one by one clip studs. I think Maybe we need to move on to the next one before Goat explodes. Yes, just you have a question for Bizarro for the professor. Uh, before I leave. No, don't leave. We need your banter. <laughs> Any comments, Professor? Who's banter? Uh, Yours, XO. I am, I'm M or, or XO. Are you waiting for him to leave for your answer? Okay, so Bizarro Rick Build says, what do you say? Tiles clip to one by one clip studs. Um, like There are official Lego sets that use that. Uh, use that technique on certain parts. Certain parts cause more stress to elements than on other ones. So it kind of like, um, again, the consideration with a lot of techniques that make it illegal is that you're placing a lot of stress on the element that'll reduce its clutch power in the long run and cause it to greatly t deteriorate. So um, in general, it's actually, it's legal to borderline. Um, it's kind of a borderline technique, um, but this is awesome. it's, it is, it like is mostly valid. Gone. This is amazing what Gonk has done. We have my favorite enter tonight so far now by Sir the Gonk. Rush. A plus rush. This is this really This is Bomb Bomb's um, superhero vehicle. This, this, this yeah. one won. This one wins. It wins? Yeah, it's very crap. It's very crap. If yeah. we ever get to like a million subscribers, we'll buy Bomb Bomb this vehicle. Right. I'll, I'll make a... We could build a... Uh, like how they build a full-scale uh, 
Lego racing car. Um, we should do that with uh, this. And the, best, and the best part is on long road trips. I quite like. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I I really like how the how the steering wheel wheel is a plunger. And this toilet paper on the side as well. Brilliant detail, Gong. Uh, as exhaust. And um, right, it's way too big for a minifigure. You don't need to find a rest stop. Check, if you so, have to use the sure. bathroom on a long road trip, no need to find a rest stop. You can just poo in the engine if you want. And it gets added to the eco fuel. Exactly. exactly. Way too big for... It's brilliant. It's poop fuel. What I mean is like the minifigure is way too, way too small for it. It's going to go inside of the toilet right away. Just get a barnacle still. in on it then. It's meant for plus size drivers. Also, like those uh, uh, Jack Stone. Uh, we'll go with yes. that. Jack Stone would drive comfortably. Or the Technic ones, which I actually like more. I don't think it's actually meant to be a functional toilet. I think it's just toilet theme because obviously you can't remove the steering wheel to plunge to different clogs. Like, I can ask because I thought if he's going to minifigure. Yeah. Imagine, imagine yeah. actual racing game with a car like that. That'd be funny. I wonder if you could build how close as you get in like a racer. It's a very limited build. And it looks like, like um, you know, <clears throat> a bunch of a uh, new pieces that were our bike. Anyway, oh, look, at, like look at the next picture. That's or nasty. actually skip the next picture. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Take it down. Take it down. This wins. This wins. I think yeah, this is my car, and I parked at someone. I actually expect to come back and find that someone did this. It's the car, exactly. I'm gonna poop in the toilet car. It makes sense. I mean, why would you drive the sense. toilet around? Can, can we move? Can we move on? Can we move on? So, as gross as it is, this is, I think, the wackiest contraption of the night so far, in my opinion. This does mm. have a double decker couch energy. I'll say that. Oh, really? Next we have. I, I, I don't Spy... know. Spy. Co Coas? I don't want to say it. Coas? Coas? I, mean, I meant it. I mentioned the monitor very recently, people saying for building ideas. I don't think it was to you, though. Uh, 1 200 CSS Virginia and USS monitor. I guess this is the only only the part that's above the surface. Yeah. Or, or it's upside down. So anyone doesn't know the monitor, I assume it's the same monitor as the original one, was the first name of the first ironclad battleship during the, the American Civil War. I'm not sure it's the same okay. one or a later one named after it. Uh, pretty cool. I think I think if I remember what it, it just pretty much an abomination of metal sheets onto it. It served its purpose, like it, it couldn't be stopped by any wooden ship. But um, yeah, pretty cool. I have to refresh and remember what it looks like actually. Ardent has some custom decals. Can it floss? Can it floss? Never mind. Gone can keep it. Is that just important detail to to know about the um about the toilet car? Imagine if like some salesman tricked you into buying it and you forgot to ask if it flushes. Like, ha, ha counting his money, he tricked you. It's distressing how small the head is on the next image. Anyway, well done. Nice historical build there. Uh, Ardent for some decals I made time ago, custom minifigures. <clears throat> oh my goodness. It's like the wall has a face. James, would you, if this is like a, a, like a technology of the future, your wall had a face and be like, James, you're late for work. Would you, would you want that? Yeah, sure, for a laugh. Yeah, or, it appears in my bathroom. Like, don't I forget hate the to scale wash. of it. It's so yeah. much smaller than the rest of the head. It's disturbing. Oh my goodness. It's making me extremely uncomfortable. So you wanted this face that appears in all the walls of your home to give you helpful tips? No. <laughs> okay, then. You I, don't I, don't, I, don't, I don't need anyone else to give me advice. And here's the custom decals applied. <clears throat> they look better on the figure itself. Okay, uh, so someone posted a brick film. Is this their brick film, though? That's I don't believe James, it is. Actually. James's name is Dr. Stone. Is that anything interesting? Oh, no, this is amazing. Watch this, please. please James please. has please. gone through so many... We can't watch someone else's without permission. No, 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 he's yeah. fine with it. He's a proper good bloke, seriously, Jacob. Do you know bro. him? Do you know Look, him? He won't get annoyed. The videos aren't monetized. Trust me, he won't I, be bothered. I, I don't want a chance at it unless he's someone. Come on, John, it's really good. Have please. A, send I him a comment, it. and next week we'll do it. You believe we no, should do it? No, never mind. Never mind then. Give him a nah, comment and leave if, it. if he applies next no, week. There's we'll no do. point in being that paranoid. Just forget it. It doesn't matter. Just go on to the next thing then. John, do you want me to explain my Discord profile picture? Uh, if you'd like, if I remember, it was a very. Like a tank. 
PG thirteen anime character. Uh huh. Yes. You both explain it. Um, I like to use the classic figures there, though. Uh oh, we have yeah. XO. another. Exo, you're one annoying sound away from getting booted. I'm bald. No, you're Come zero. On. You're zero. Um, annoying sounds away. Joseph I'm zero point one 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 one. Negative. Oh, he's gone. Never mind then, lads. I pressed the button. Um, lads, I'm gonna go in a sec then. Um, my pick for the win number one is obviously. Um... Actually, hold on. We may have another contender here from Ardent Four. No, I also, I'm made, one. I also I'm... made a mock. I also made a All right, mock. I'm gonna go through everything. Keep talking, lads. I'm gonna go Hold down everything. there. Let us know your vote before you leave. Make sure you get to the bottom. But um, Arden Four, my entry this week's mock out: Choppa, an automated automatic firewood cutter built on the hull of an M3 Stewart tank. Oh goodness! Invented by the craziest lumberjack around. Cut down a tree. Choppa simply simply swings two oversized axes held by giant minifigure arms on the conveyor so on the side into the sides of a tree. Then the chunks of a tree fall into the bucket at the front from which they are moved via conveyor belt into the slicing chopping system where they are cut down to firewood size by two axes and chainsaws. Mm. Then the pieces of firewood are deposited behind the machine. So let's take a look through it all. Here's the front angle. Oh, the eyes on it are the headlights. Terrifying. It almost looks like wood right there, like the pattern on it. Um, I think it's just it's just the perspective. It's just the perspective. Uh, but I love all the little details. I love how in the background there's wood coming out of the back of all the wood it's chopped down. There's so many little details to this. I really, really like. Yeah, well done. The little wood chips down there. Great job showing that perspective of the tree I'm half cut. Oh, my goodness. Um, so my number one is Gonks. Number two is Ardent Fours. Um, Gonks tree thing. Ardent. And then number three, I'll get it up in a sec. Uh, where is it? Yo, here you go. It is this beast. Um, Just give us the name of the creator. I love how it has an octan. I love how it has a little octan. Oh, oh, the name of the creator, I'll scroll up. The name of this creator is um, uh, uh, Maur Maury, whatever you want to call him. How do you spell it? M A U R Y hashtag four four nine five. There you go. Okay, Mari. Okay, awesome. Thanks for joining us. Um, later, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Bye. Um, Bye. Just us and XO now. Oh, Steve XO last one. Um, the nightmare. I I do really appreciate how like there's custom decals for this guy as well. Like how it says the chopper on front or the back. I hope this is like very sturdy glass because anything flies off and hits it. They probably have to replace it every other week. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Is that like a sign just built onto it as like part of the metal? Sorry? There's like a sign at the bottom there of the bumper. Like it's just part of the um build. Mm -hmm. The construction sign. Uh, so my profile picture is usually an art commission of an original character and fan fiction story. I'm working with some friends. The fan fiction is based on Japanese anime series known as Strike Witches. Oh, okay. Good for you. Uh, I never elbow. watched it. It literally says elbow grease. Wow. <laughs> okay, that elevates it significantly, actually. It that... runs on pure elbow grease. How much this, might be, this might have just taken over as the winner because that is a funny detail. Yes, I like that. There's not actually a piece. You actually got that printed on there on my studio, right? To my knowledge, there's no elbow grease printed piece or sticker. Got to mention before I left, look and watch for memes. Every meme. Have a good one, guys. That's James. James is always want to make sure we watch his memes, which are very rarely Lego like, related. But uh, See the logs here? Oh, you can see they actually where they go into. That's very cool. So you can go down here into the chipper here. Mm -hmm. Caution, of course, you do not want to go through there. I, I, in some ways, I still like uh, Gonk's model for the absurdity, <coughs> but this one has both absurdity and an extreme level of detail just to how much you he commits to the bit. Yes, this is such a fun design. Arden never goes halfway. I am really, I'm really torn. I, I think Arden may have just stolen this one. Uh, we'll find and, out. and I love, I love how the, I love how the yeah. arms represent minifigure hands. 
so cool. Yeah. I got to give it to oh, that, I really ah. like this one. We're not quite at the bottom yet. So this I know. I know. I'm withholding judgment. They gone Thanks for joining us, by the way, Wolf Force. Very nice. That, that's, that's actually just James. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Uh, I'm not. If he has so many names, he's James. He, need, he needs to you know, integrate his persona. It doesn't help we keep changing his name. He was J James. He was Back Fat Pad. He was Nutsack Pad. He's so many different things. Now he's Patty Sacks. Then he's now now he's Saggy Packs. Like his name keeps evolving to more less and less flattering things. Awesome. A little more detail in Joseph's um Discord picture. Very nice. The signs are symmetrical there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Papa, you spared no detail on this. It looked almost like what um Beauty and the Beast, what Bell's father like tried to invent, except more modern. Goodness, I, I, I like that head cannon. Pretty cool. Looks like we have a few more left. A few more left. Okay, we have a lot of people who have posted near the end. Okay, we'll try a little fast to them. So, American T29 Heavy Tank Hall, full version of turret coming next week. So, here's just okay. the here's just the foundation of it. So, not a, I like that. I like the new chassis we're working up. Very nice. Yeah, can't wait to see how it comes out. Be sure to send us another like video so you can see all the functionality of it. Pretty cool. Uh, sandwich Lego seven six one zero one. That's actually is that you, right? XO? No, no, it's not XO. It's the other person does some. Um, who does um, alternate build. Mm. Okay, but he said alternate this wasn't build. his build, alternate build. Made by Brick Bros UK. It makes awesome. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Is this a friend of yours? I, some, maybe it's someone who has a YouTube channel. I'm not sure. But <laughs> either way, I, I do, again, um, not as impressive when you're copying someone else. But you got to respect alternate builds. You have to work within <clears> extreme <throat> limitations to pull that off. Yeah. Great work for that. Uh, Bizarro back then made a Mr. Handy robot from Fallout. <clears throat> that is wacky. Got the Very fire in there. Not yeah, super yeah. wacky, I feel. It's I, not really it a vehicle a, either. <laughs> it is a cool, it is a cool mock, but it's not wacky in my opinion. How much did you use this on um, little measurement paper for your build? Like, I want to know how like detailed you get. I think that's I just for perspective. I feel like it's just a cool backdrop more than accuracy. DKS goes the full mile, I know, and actually um, draws It's much out harder to do that on a small scale, though. <laughs> Very nice. So, Sharon. Uh, Rise Comics back one more time. So, here's the smallest diesel locomotive. We are going to go a little bit quickly because we've seen so many of yours tonight. Uh, with the headlights on top, wearing on the side. Very boxy um, cabin to it there. Is this open up? How did they get inside here? Is this like a door? <clears throat> I'm not seeing anything. Must be on the other side. No? Hmm. Maybe it's... Yeah. I, I don't see an access point. That's strange. And you climb in the window? Yeah, it, it must be a window access port. Why for Maybe a window? That, that was as a door that... um, It's not, not a functional door. Right, why for a window? Why not? Uh, but where else? There's no door. You're gonna go through the um smokestack. That feels like a like a bad design. Just a cutting okay. board. So. Yeah. Ah, okay. Pretty cool. Next, um, Arden's back with some more Lego art. World War One Austro-Hungarian soldier. You're really on like a um historical um Lego art kick. <clears throat> Got his little um his flask there, taking a drink. Looks, looks kind <clears throat> of Lego Indiana Jones to me. A shovel. Very nice. Yeah. The mm -hmm. face kind of yeah metal little um box there and and their pupils kind of as well yeah all well, Lego pretty much is the same pupil with a few exceptions i don't know it's kind of weird to me and this, on this ardent little autograph at the bottom very cool oh, autograph uh, wow. bizarro i feel like i never actually entered a theme contest here's my rocket powered monster car driven by my stepdaughter okay. oh you made a build of your stepdaughter that's pretty cool does she know about the build I imagine you showed it. What did you I, I really that? like the face on this Ooh. thing. <laughs> I like it. You should design like Lego Friend set. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, this this is really fun. And I love the little exhaust pattern going on at the side. 
And I love how there's like little teeth and then there's like a little uh, gear in the middle for grinding. Oh, yeah. That's, 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 that's a, a really fun design. That's like a, a kitty like um design for the vehicle. This is these giant thruster engines. It was very official. Can we have a military team off the next boat? Uh, sure, we can have it in there. Oh, no. Oh. Oh yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just that the military is going to automatically win because <coughs> we'll see. All those people are just going to jump on it. I, I I'm just going to make something of... inspired by Dino Dino Attack because that was very military as well. I have a way of stacking the vote. Where I put something likely to win against ones I don't want to win. I feel like for a military one, you need to give people more of a notice because everyone's going to yeah. jump onto that. My entry edit. Oh, I might make a broader theme, like war or something like that. But my entry edit. I was going to use this vehicle to make a transformer with this alternate mode for mock hour, but school. Well, school was no excuse, bum bum. What's more important? Oh my goodness. Okay, I really like this next one. Is this light bluish gray? I forgot that Nexo sh didn't know that Nexo shields came in that color. Okay, so here's the um picture I think that um Joseph sent us about. Anyway, um, my newest mock I have to show is the M. 10 A1 finally got together and it's surprisingly sturdy. Very, very, nice. very nice. Very, very well done, Polska. I really like uh, how smooth the design is. What's the is part it, going on up front? That doesn't look like it's official Lego to me, but I'm not 100% on that. Who was it in the server that nope. started actually designing Lego tanks for like a, an alternative, well, not alternative brand, like it's not like a brick arms type brand. Was it you, Polska, or someone else? I'm trying to remember. It's kind of official, honestly. Very smooth. Because it, if yeah. it's him, it, it could be a steady actually designed for them to sell. Perhaps it's only if they go up Is it you on um, Posca? Let us know. Uh, let's see. Oh, I, there's the piece you love, Professor from Om Nexo Knights being used. Yes, I, I am a I'm a I'm a sucker for that Pentagon shield. It's a such a phenomenal piece, and it gives you so much variety. It's a very smooth mock, and Even all the studs him. exposed have a mechanical purpose. Very nice. Is this a legal connection? You got Lego minifigure hands connected to the sides of this. Um, um technically, this um, technically that's legal. Um, technically that's legal. Uh, it's a little bit uncouth, but it is legal. Fair enough. Uh, hey, goat, go, uh, goat. I have a question. Yes. You said it correctly. Uh, you you like this hexagonal next shield, next night shield. Uh, what yes. do you think about the being used in that uh, Statue of Liberty as a face? It looks okay. Not my favorite set. I feel like uh, you it's think not it's the... ruined now. I don't think it's ruined. I just don't think that was. I, I don't think it had the best aesthetic results. It, it's okay. it still looks it still looks fine. I will use a sticker on it. That's about it. But I mean, I'm I'm okay with stickers, honestly. No, that would ruin the model. Like the, it's one thing if the entire model has a, has stickers, but if you have one sticker, it'll stand out like a sore thumb, and you do not want that. I guess. I um, thought you used to have on your on your, on your single sticker. Nice. You know, it doesn't fall. I'm gonna not read the too many details as well to press for time, but uh, very nice. The turret up here. So you can move up and down and rotate. Very cool. Bum Bum has reposted mocks. I want to show Professor Goat the new and improved Linux Prime, leader of the Autobots in my universe. Don't worry, Autobot Goatee is not in my universe. Okay, good. <laughs> Very smart design. An Autobot Goat at one point build. We did. Very nice. At one point, we Joseph took says I'm looking builds. Joseph says I'm working with Omaha Bricks. That's what I was thinking of, yes. Okay, build anything for them so I can make money. Hopefully you make a bit, little bit of money on the side for it, but yeah. Yeah. He's I, again, I feel like you should build for the love of it, but if you can make a little bit of money on the side, selling instructions and such, you should absolutely do that. I think it's more, it's more than instructions. It might actually be models they sell. I'm not positive. Whatever works. That's uh, that's really cool. It tends to be very expensive when you do that, though. Instructions or models? 
when you when you try to sell models, it's it's very difficult to acquire all these strange parts, yeah. especially some that are only available in a few sets. So you got to brick link them. You have to go to all these different s- sites, and it can be a very difficult and tedious process. The truck mode is very adequate. I can't see any flaws of it. Rather than judging how good a truck is with the transformer, I tend to judge like um if there's any flaws, in it, if you know what I mean. Like, cause it has to be two different builds and one that can like transform into each other. So is there anything truck, you sacrifice to make it not look like much like a truck just so the bot mode could be better? Yeah, every every design's decision uh, is towards functionality, but the aesthetic, there's still a very s- significant aesthetic appeal. Yeah. And I, I, yeah. I really like this. I really Nothing like really stands design. out as not belonging on a truck. So perfect score there. And then the bot mode, I know what you weigh, you want to focus on, and it looks great. The wheels and the arms. Have masterpiece. Yeah. And That's masterpiece, you could say. <clears throat> very, very impressive, and I like how all the little doors and side pieces uh, form the bulk on the shoulders. It's very cool. Yeah, the pinhead on them. Very cool. Nice dimensions to them. Interesting. Is that the back? Oh yeah, it's the back. That's where the um, windshield of the truck goes. So you can see his like organs. Very nice. I wonder what Laura is laughing at so much in there. What what the what where did the weapon go though? Is it like part part of the, part of the character or is it like uh, accessory? I think it's where? an accessory. Maybe it can fit somewhere. Like uh, maybe you could collapse it and fit it under his vehicular form. Bum stone the chat. Weapon storage. Nice. Bum, if you're still in the chat, where did you hide the pickaxe? If it's in there, well, I think it. Hmm, it might just come apart. It's hard to know. The I chest cavity the looks like it stores. <laughs> Oh, there's I, is that in there. No, 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 on the it. other side. There's something on the other side. The um, side? Yes, that chest cavity. Oh, yeah, it could open up. Maybe it's inside there. Um, but that looks like, so like it's I, either an energy source or maybe some pocket. sort of teleportation device. It could pocket. also be a weapon. I'm talking for pocket. the matrix of leadership. Like what Optimus Prime has. Yeah. Have okay. an ab crunch and open chest I did, I did the of I leadership. Did Okay, Arari okay. Carries the wisdom of all the primes. Oh, yeah. They, the there's same. there's like a, a connection. Norway. Yeah. A, a psychic I connection know. to all the uh, Autobot leaders that have passed. And here Pretty he's cool. bowing to my throne. Except not for cool. Halfram, I guess. Ah, and there's the Matrix of Leadership. Very Trippy nice. Chrome. You, you can oh, work yeah. with gold. He has used the yeah. PC he has too. I think he did very good for the PC. I just, I just don't like this yeah. mustard yellow. Is there a Chrome version of that? Bum Bum says the pickaxe doesn't store anywhere. It's in my pocket. Probably not. It's, they are, they yeah. I think they are the, uh, Chrome, in, Chrome uh, modified tiles or this uh, part of the bucket uh, in Chrome. I the weapon's really cool again. as well. We're at the bills posted after the show begins. We are getting close to the end. Also has a gun hand. Very nice. That's a cool pose. Your, your transformers are always so poseable. Have you, you want to mock up for one? You well, won, not, every, not everyone. Before? Bombers had the worst luck. We've come so close to winning so many times. I'm glad he finally won one recently. Uh, Absolutely. He deserves it. Size compared to my motorcycle transformer. And then it's Ardent, who's won. He's won so many times, you have to make a new medal, like a five-time winner medal soon. Uh, yeah, we're... Size, at some point, we may need to just make Ardent um, disqualified because he's too good at this. He just, he's a, a, new, a champion division, yes. He's in a different like, league. He has lit, <laughs> he has hit the limit of winning. We'll send him off to the professionals. We'll, we'll give him like a letter of recommendation to LEGO Masters, and he'll leave the nest in our minor league. This is the minor league for LEGO Masters. Over Why not? <laughs> Sad. Yes. I still think it's funny that you almost got in Professor and in, um, on Lego Masters. They yes, actually wanted unfortunately, I, yes, they specifically requested Professor Goat. I had to turn them down to my very busy research schedule. Yeah. Wow. Very sussy. I actually had a Lego Masters contestant send me a friend request because I guess my Facebook's all just Lego stuff, like Lego characters and actually me. I wonder if I could like really? invite them on for like an interview sometime. I say, hey, do you want to host a mock hour and give your opinions? That could be pretty cool. You could. Uh, we'll wanna we'll wanna polish up a little bit if we do that. Yes, and we'll have a consider, little bit more structure. Consider carefully who our stream guests are. 
Hmm. Hmm. Uh, World War Two Danish soldiers. Hmm. Hmm. Another art thing from um Arden. Arden. Arden and I are working on a project together. I was waiting on art for, and he's time for all these things. I'm kidding. Yeah, he has priorities. I know. Take all the time you need. I'm kidding. These are very great builds. Let's see. Get a helmet. Uh, the gun looks great. Um, pretty cool. I'm interested in taking a look at Polska's next mock. This looks oh, very interesting. The firing is the difference between the two. Very nice. Uh, Polska. I shouldn't. I wouldn't show off since it's not finished completely, but I guess I should. Here's the M15 GMC and SPAG based on the M3 half track armored with two MT50 caliber machine guns and a single 37 um, MM auto cannon. Uh, include space for five minifigures, and we can see them packed. We'll in look there. at it real quick then. I'm oh. not sure what. The a lot of cloth pieces. I'm not sure what the piece on the front is for, like that real little roller is for. <laughs> Maybe it's, I guess that's for clearing mines. Um, Does it or work? killing people. Would that cancel out a mine? Well, like it's an extra layer of security. Like if you're, if you're going to detonate a mine, I'd rather you do it up there than right here. Oh yeah, very true. Possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just, that's just my working theory. It could be like a winch system. Like if you're you need to repel down something or you need to pull another truck out of the mud, you could use that mechanism. Or not sure what that's to, you're not to quite sure what that over. represents. It's a tow line. Yes. A just uh yes, that make that's that's what I thought it might be. I like my um, theory better. If you're running someone over, there's no escape between the tires because of this. I think you might need something bigger to run someone over properly. Is um, that that real vehicle? I, I presume that, so. Yeah, most uh, likely. But, yeah, I, I, I look forward to seeing this complete. Just sell instructions where you know what close to me is actual kids. To do so, sticker packs and box, though. Pretty cool. The was meant to be for a tow line. Okay, we uh, got a repost. Sorry for duplicate picks. Joseph, I ever wanted to ask you guys to print Club Rick stickers, something like that. Would you guys ever be interested in if you want to ask them? That could be something cool. There's always that, we're looking for someone to do like a, a cheap little um channel marks thing like that because i know like, we're, not, we're not quite big enough people want things like t-shirts that might cost like 20 30 bucks but like something like a sticker kit could be cool just don't use my face just like paying for their printer uses my friend does have a lego printer like uh, actually industrial printing actually prints on bricks but it's been broken for a while and it's pretty expensive to fix so i haven't been able to ask him for any products let's see rise comics uh back one more time we post a while back here's el go bernardo we have to look at this one before. Once again, we're going to go a little bit quickly just because we've seen a bunch tonight. I, I like the use of the recolors of uh, the old style windows. Those were used most prominently in the 60s, I believe. Ah. Uh, so yeah. it's uh, kind of uh, baffling seeing them in that color, but it has a very nice aesthetic appeal. Yeah. Joseph says uh, they focus on their own stuff. That's fair enough. They they have to, they, they have their niche. They got to stay in it. Oh, well. And a reference photo. Uh, like the light effect there. A very grand look of all the gold. And that's what it looks like. Um, weight ready for the road. 230,000 tons. Very nice. And there's his rise's um, great-great-grandmother here. Not really. Everyone, there is a dead probably. Um, well, obviously they're dead. Everyone in that photo is dead now. Sad. And the heavy Pacific locomotive in the station diorama. 4-4. Four, four. I like the glowing almost like ectoplasm blue there. And yes, then... A ghost blue. train? I don't think it's meant to be a ghost train. It's just like the light color. But pretty cool. A ghost train that doesn't exist. Wait. There. I'm gonna go a little bit quick like I said just because we've seen so many. We're getting close. We're less than an hour in like um scroll time. That doesn't mean an hour oh, no. scrolling. You know what I mean? Oh We're no. Anything post in the last hour. Oh, your build, a funny car. Actually, you have so much to say until we get to your build. You always get so shy and tongue tied then. Uh funny I mean, car, I... funny car, here to give you fun. Funny cars, funny wheels that give you funny feeling. It's very funny, guys. Please what is what is please laugh. Just who who please is laugh. driving it? What is that cloned passenger? Red Bandit. Oh, no. He's laugh. Ha, ha. I don't oh, think Professor's yay. laughing. 
Please laugh. No. Make me. Does this make you laugh? I zoom in more. It isn't the actually, actor red band. Actually, actually, I know something way, way, way funnier. What is it? I think you know. Is it that? Yes, I feel much better now. Thank you. We're starting to read each other's minds now. I can interpret your signals. You're he, getting he, there. He's gone. He left. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad our psychic link has gradually improved o over yes. over the months. That's what happened when we streamed together for a year now. Even though you had your long break, you can pick up cues. Let's see. As we um, were. Exo actually did exit. That just goodbye, I guess. So we're not going to get his vote tonight. Well, we'll we'll see you next time, Exo. But he's always an enigma in and out when he feels like it. So that's it. We should still judge it though for the merits, though. Uh, uh, it's a very funky idea. Next bit of club brick law having the bandits in there. A whole army of bandits. No. No. Just no. Just no. I've been encouraging Exo to actually participate because he's been doing nothing but set redesigns, which limits him. We know he's capable because his Lego Ideas project is pretty cool. So I'm glad then, he actually and, did take And then you inspire him to make this. I said nothing the about here. the Red Bandit. I did not tell him to do that. I just said participate in the theme. It's but. not just the Red Bandit. It's everything enveloping the Red Bandit. That's the problem here. You don't like the long vehicle? It looks like it'd be like a tour bus or something. I, I could get behind the long vehicle, but the way it's done just is very upsetting and not in a good way. The only thing he had in mind building, I think, was goofy and fit as many minifigures as possible. He failed. He put like two rows of minifigures on a base plate. I think he started from there. But I Shall we continue? Him. Thanks for participating. Uh, next by Mari. And this was the, actually the one that I think got third, was uh, James's third choice. The Combat Ready Artificial Fury Titan Craft is an uh, acronym. Part of one of Kaiser's solicitous commanding loyalists. Loyalist? That's Tom Lister. The Master Mac seeks to take down his enemies who destroy the Begonic Tower, armed missiles, artillery, and a fire reactor core. The towering super weapon won't go down without a fight. Even if the craft is disabled, the pyre will always have an escape route. Not much lighting there to see. I can't make out much except the fiery it's light. In the, there's some next picture. Um, try the next pictures. Oh, there we go. Um, oh, wow. I like that. That's this. intimidating. I like how this guy has a proper face. Um, Very interesting. I there's a we... lot... We've seen this person's build before. This, I purely remember by the photo quality. Like it was this photo quality and this type of backdrop to it. Like I think there's I have the same before where I love the build. I couldn't quite see it. There's some very uh, legal parts usage in the sense that there's non-Lego being used. It looks like some sort of like um, monster to appear in like a Lego movie or something. This feels like uh, the. This feels like something in the Lego Movie Three when uh, the knockoff sets all attack. Yes, I can see that. I like the little furnace though in the chest there. Yeah, there's there's some very nice details in here. Uh, I wouldn't say it's wacky though. He has an affinity gauntlet. Very that's nice. that's just part spam at this point. What, what is this? Is that a Lego figure? No, that is not. These are oh, Mega Bloks no. figures. Most of these are Mega. Oh Blocks no. Figures. I, I, I say we've, uh, I think it's we've seen enough. Lego either. But overall, it is a very cool thing here. We like the idea it is a thing. I'll, 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 I agree thing. that it's a thing. You even gave us a zoom in shot on the non Lego He Man there. Which we did not, we had no need to see. Yes, but we give you credit for the idea. It's pretty cool. And I can see the build itself has mostly Lego pieces. Very nice. Inside the furnace there. It is, very. it is very. I thought we had a lot of mocks to go, but it seems like the scroll bar goes down. It's a bunch of photos of this. Very cool. Getting very close to the end. And once, and a reminder, guys, when we're done, how it works is we vote in the winner, and then we'll quickly go through uh, James's terrible memes and the other memes that are posted. Uh, Sir, but I'm not going to pronounce it. Is that Gandalf in like a little hover bike? This is kind of fun. Like it's well, it's very basic and blurry. Check the next image. He's, he's sure going to get. Oh wait, no, no, no. Uh, you get zero points. Do you know why? Why? There's a <clears throat> mega block up there. Did you think I wouldn't see that? Oh no. Which one is it? That, the 
the brown piece down there. Zoom in. Oh, that's not even part of the build, though. It's like that's yes, it is. Basically together. Yes, it is. Oh, it's part no. of the diorama. It's part of the scene. <clears throat> oh no! See that little indention in the center? That's a mega block. Oh, Exo found its way back. Yes, you didn't. You didn't take the joke. We took the joke. joke. We were teasing. I don't know. I um, forgot the joke. Uh, Deanna, if I have no trouble um, getting the ring the mortar this way. I can hear you. Well, the rings would have gone much smoother if they had this contraption to get the mortar with. So I'm not sure if they can outrun a Nazgul on that. I don't know. They might be able to... I wonder how many <coughs> hobbits it could fit. Uh, Especially if you use like uh, the little um, <coughs> landing gear on the side. Have them standing there. Just a few. Not safely, but... Is that from a set? I, I would like to see the set this is from if it was, but I doubt it's it. Part of, part, parts of it are from the <laughs> Ghost Rider set. I yeah, I thought so, because I'm pretty sure that's the only time we actually had a motorcycle like that. It's like the Ghost Rider set in the middle, and they added on the components. Pretty cool. Now, Next. The, the, the proper lot just looks weird. It just doesn't feel and right. Right near the end now, it's probably the final two. Bum Bum Anime Edition. By the way, here is the original... Linux, but I have to tease Bum Bum. His girlfriend forced him to get a matching anime picture to his, to hers. Yeah. So take a moment to go, ha, 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 okay. Anyway, the so. original Linux Prime design. That's Lego. Uh, so that's the one before we updated it. <clears throat> Pretty cool. I like your octopus um, picture as well. Does that say sap? Yeah. That is the, that is how he holds his Lego together. Illegally, he holds it together with sap, so his illegal techniques work. You've been found out. I knew it. Oh awesome. no! Oh, this is the one I told you about—the Gotasaurus. Okay. Notice the detail. It even has the color of your goggles for the eyes, <laughs> and your hair is the spikes. Your gloves, everything. That looks adorable. I said it gloves? looks like something you made in like an experiment in a test tube, like a hairless rat. It's very disturbing, but. I think it's adorable. Like, I like, that I, that color also color. adorable. <clears throat> this may be one of the vehicles I used to get around. Um, maybe. Oh, that'd be cool. I'd love to see that. The funny thing is it has no teeth. Just like gum slapping and making it no. Do you, do you really want your your dinosaur to have teeth, though? This is, uh, this is mean, a streamlined uh, vehicle. There yeah. was... I have Unless to you're into war, Chamber of would not want to be. I want to find the original one. Oh, how do I find the Gotus? Negative oh, no, two. But in the original one, there was a scene of like a minifigure running away in fear. And I kind of I said it would be it would have won the night if it was you running away in fear, like your ex your experiment went wrong. I joked <laughs> that it was a red bandit. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, Lisa and the Red Bandit. It may I be think, specifically I bred for that purpose. If you see <laughs> Duffer Vaughn XO tonight and you had your crew of bandits versus this thing getting terrorized, I think Goat would have voted for you. Potentially. <clears throat> anyway, now comes the point where we vote for the winner. And Oh, I, I do have a concept for uh, a uh, mock hour. Oh, what is Teaming it? up. A teaming up mock hour. Where two, uh, where two builders are forced to work together to create a mock, and that has to be their submission. How would they create a submission? That, though? If they have uh, like it could be someone makes a mock and someone makes a separate mock, but they have to go together. Ah, just a thought. So you each and digital mocks can build. actually be fully integrated. So if two, you each make your own build that would go together and form a, a cohesive whole. Exactly. So that's okay. just a thought for some time in the future. I want to see that. Put that in the. Should I put that in this week's poll or wait for a week you can make it? Um. Let's for the military. Uh, not next week. Not next week. I'll okay, I'll, I'll discuss that at the end of the stream. I have uh, some interesting news at the end. Okay. Uh, so let's. But, so James voted for Gonk as his first choice. Arden is second, and Maori is his third. I have uh, to. I I personally think that yeah. Ardent is sucking all the air out of the room, but it's not undeserved. We may need to create a rule about <clears throat> how much one person can win. We're going to cap it, I think, at five wins because we, we're going to make a five-time winner badge and that would be the cap. He can still participate in everything, but like we might shut him off of being the winner at that point. And he's he's offered to do that even at like two wins. So 
I, I like the roll of five. I like five. That's a nice round number, I feel There's like. There's a cool badge if I can get to it. What? I... All right. Well, um, so what it looks my, like is... I can't do it now. No, man. My vote is for... I have to say my vote is for Ardent, even though Gonk has... It's a very close between Gonk and that one just because of how ridiculous gonk's model is let me go back to gonk's real quickly uh but if uh to... chat has any input to try yeah. and persuade us we gonk are listening the so any opinions in the chat you voted for gonk the, the flush it was the yeah. flush rush who bum bum thing which gonk. is an absolutely <laughs> abhorrent name for the vehicle so that's and... patching three chat so far thinks gonk and addition to the james Professor Goat thinks Ardent. Exo, do you have a contribution to this? Do you think Gonk or Ardent? I forgot what, 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 what were the monks. I'm sorry. Yes, thank, thank, thank you for contributing to the stream. <laughs> You're welcome. It's just the, three. To the toilet one here, the toilet car was Gonk's, and Ardent was that amazing wood chipper one. Oh, definitely wood chipper. I'm tired wood of chipper. poop jokes. Yeah. I'm tired of poop jokes. I think I have to lean towards Ardent as well. Yeah, there's he, so much detail. He definitely didn't slack. He went for so many details. So I think Ardent is going to have. I think his, it's at least his fifth win. I and like the shape of the of the poop car, but I'm tired of poop jokes. So I'm definitely not yeah. choosing the fireman one. So Ardent is one. And of the that, and that I wasn't show. joking. Right now. I'm seriously tired of those jokes. I'm tired of them. We are now right now. So one are recommending him to Lego Masters. Which I could actually do because, like, one of the recruiter who contacted me to reach you, I could I could contact them back and like I have a nominee for you. Hmm. I I say I, I there's an application process for Lego <laughs> Masters. Maybe we could go over that. Um. Maybe we could go over that another time. And anyway, Art, right, we still want to see a build every week and some highlight of the streams, but um, we might make that be the final time we choose you as the winner, just so as we cap it off at that many awards. Like, you achieve the highest award you can get. We'll say that. But we still want to see you participating whenever you get time. And I believe Arden said he has to take a break at some point soon anyway. So it would be a good point to send him off on his break as having no possible honors left to get. He, he so has five, a high, he's off on a, high, high, off on a high note. Five victories, the highest time you can win. But you, we still want to see you participate. And we'll, you'll still hear from us if we think you're as like one of the best of the night. So I hope you still participate. And, and, and you're still eligible for other competitions, obviously. No, exactly not that. We want to still see a build. We love it for the stream. And still, when we do the highlight videos, sometimes we do for the mock hours, we're going to put any of your entries in those. But um, just there's not going to be any higher awards than the fifth one. So when we choose who's going to get the award, it'll go to someone else. And at some point, maybe we could like have a battle of the champions, like all, all the ones yeah. who have been, who have won the highest honor. Like there the we create, there's a tier above that for like the, the hunger greatest. games when they had the champions all competing we'll do that so Arden, what we're going to do at some point we're going to have a champions mock where all the winners will compete and we'll get the biggest honor of them all which is a slumber party at professor goat's house not really but we'll think of something we'll see oh my goodness so yeah i hope i can be that correctly like we want you to participate in every single one but we're probably going to choose a winner from someone um who, who has, still has a badge to earn, if that makes sense. But we still want to see yours. We're still going to put yours in the mock feature videos and all those. And of course, you got to put your own life first. <clears throat> um, so uh, don't feel obliged to do mocks. Um, don't get burnt out. Um, something a, a lot of people will do is they try to do life and Lego. And if you try to do Lego too much and it stresses you out, sometimes it is good to take a break. Um, yeah. But... Go to the meet. Just make sure you have that appropriate life to Lego balance. So now to yeah. close out the show. I should start making mocks again. That'd be more fun. We're going to look at the memes. Um, as usual, James has some terrible memes posted. We'll suffer through as many as we can stomach. But I always say Lego memes are always subject related. So hopefully for one people will, but will follow that. Let's see. Aliens behind. When a friend asks me what I do most of the day at home, I make guns out of Lego. I put to use interlocking building blocks to make models of firearms. Funny enough, hmm. if we use that description, we'd probably in that YouTube like, oh no, that sounds mature. We can't have that video. We use the top one, it'll be fine. Oh boy. I, I I'm concerned by this next image. I'm afraid who who posted that? 
Bum bum. Mm-hmm. Okay, I tr- I trust you, bum bum. Say no. 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 This is not Lego. Should we suffer through it? I'll I'll, I'll take no. the crab one. I'll take the crab one. Skip okay. to the crab. Killing airsoft cheaters are real. Okay then. Skip to the crab. <laughs> That's not oh, a crab. Money, 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 money. <laughs> That was a little disturbing. I don't know why. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'm okay. definitely not sleepy tonight. I'm very mean, very down. You don't want to be down with the times. You want to be down with Lego or Club Rec. I think. <laughs> I do like the Obi Wan in there, though. I have no idea what we're watching. Another Super it's, Mario thing, I'm, I'm guessing. It's just all I the have driving seen a b- bunch, and I'm not exactly interested. Things they could find. This is not Lego or Club Brick. Oh. I, I, I think... Do we um, want to see no. James say something? No, I, I know exactly like what this is. Professor Goatee? That's Professor Goat to you! <laughs> <laughs> and there's a goat and a T. Goat, T. Last now. Okay. Negative four. <laughs> you, this isn't like that wasn't. Or club recreated. I don't. How to drive a roundabout. James, we're going to say this one last time for you. Lego or club rec related memes. Feature my Lego memes. Share your bass. Lego or club rec related memes in the mock hour show. BTS. Do I know what that stands for? That one's good. No. I'm not going to provide any context. That one's good. I don't know what oh, it means. No. I feel like I shouldn't. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave you in suspense because I you don't want to know. One. Well, How look dare you? 7-Eleven. Look where I ran it at 7-Eleven, goat. He, he's a lucky guy. Uh, I, I mean, who, who wouldn't want to want to meet uh, Tahumata in, uh, at, at the 7-Eleven? Where? Where else do you, you want to make out with him? Point. Do you want to make out with him? Okay, that's not Lego. Uh, that's not Lego either, is it? You don't make me bleed! No, Pat. Images of yourself aren't memes. Thank you, Skills. Thank you. Oh, that's Goat, more normal now. Goat is not retiring from Club Rec. Hello, everyone. Professor Goat here. And I'm retiring from Club Rec permanently. Because... King John cheated on me with bum bum. I'll message Brick Master about that afterwards if you want to um, discuss it. Okay. Are then. we almost done? I hope I'm so. Uh, my face to all these memes. Yes, everyone drops off of the memes because they're, they're terrible quality. It's this but perfect okay. duality where we have the most incredible mock loaders, but it, they compensate for that by being terrible at memes. When you get Mine the is a Lego one. meme. Exo, is yours appropriate? Yeah. I it's copyrighted music. But I mean and that's what you get with Lego. that's what you feel when you get Lego. You're happy. You're dancing. Okay. Everyone when I post an amazing meme. What 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 does that tell you? Is Where? it an amazing meme? Does anyone look amazed? That guy does. There is that's, a mistake though. That's James's. There is a word box. amazing in it. Done. Why is the word amazing in it? That's a mistake. I know it is. He meant John and Hellcat when a vid blows up. On the plus side, we're almost out of viewers. <laughs> they plummet when we do this. Can you when blame James, them? When James hosted Mock Hour um, for himself, he had the idea to begin with the open clips using his memes then. So we got to this view count to start the show instead of <laughs> at the end where they got sick of Yes, James, James, stick to the Lego. The club brick little things are fine. They can impersonating goats, stuff like that. A few of those are fine, funny. Not to goat, but they're funny to the show. But yeah, keep it to Lego Club Brick. For those who are confused, they are putting gasoline and flammable liquid on the car to wash it. Well, it is funny, at least. Uh, invincible or fans why? when their dad comes home from work and beats the poop out. Them. Me making memes about John and love of goat. No more. First of all, there's some terrible fan art of us that I will not even, I hope you have not had to see. Oh, no. 
I I will withhold speculation. Not to be in this, stop be a jerk and just do the iceberg video. Okay, so Cutman very much wants us to do a Lego iceberg meme video. I do not understand the meme, but you that, you are we are getting it's, very it's, close to abolishing the meme channel at this point. Yes, we are. See, I don't know why why uh, I posted myself. But besides the Lego, besides the iceberg thing is like there's some good content around it, but it's just a gimmick yeah. to grab your attention. Shout out to I, I like iceberg. Gives me uh, gives me more as uh, a fun facts about uh, something that I like, like Minecraft. So pretty much everyone is around like seven years old. One person's ten, then there's just Tony, age thirty six at the bottom. I thought that was funny. Way to go, Tony! Congratulations. People have like an adult party room ready to go at Legoland, and just like they have the kitty sized chairs. And... This doesn't look like that doesn't look Lego at all, James. I'm going pat. None of these are Lego. None of them are. I just, we, we, it was a, you're, just it was a good one. you're just sharing your Facebook photos now. Like Missouri, well, we haven't you haven't struck out yet tonight, so we'll at least try you. That is a copyright. It was short enough not to get struck. When okay. I faced my head Lego I'm, castle. I'm, I'm stealing that one. That one's good. Okay. It wasn't <laughs> Lego, but nice it was made us laugh. Let me steal it. But I don't want to encourage people to post ones that aren't Lego to make us laugh because then they'll fail. We'll keep doing it. Okay. That does not look like me, XO. We're going to establish that once that's and for Pat. all. That's oh, Pat. That's Pat. Okay. The other one doesn't look like me. We don't well, have like wide, that... like almond shaped eyes. And... Can, can we, can we, can we the pan finish meme? this? It is safe. What is, How about I make an mean? NBA version? No, of, no, 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 we can't. We're not going back. We can't. Okay, overall. When the game master, these aren't. Bum bum, you. I'm disappointed. You. Lego memes. Club work normally started. Okay, so skills worked hard in this one. Yes, just Lego things get our jail. We do get a lot of people that have their one. <laughs> Incompetent mods, community creations, weird members. I like that some people's avatars and just James's actual face for weird members. Uh, I can't quite read. B five fo fum subscribe to my book. Oh, please boost the my, server. That are my memes. That are my memes. I see my memes. Yes, your memes are in there. Also, also the Python <laughs> one. Also the Python one. You know, this, this is creative. This, Some work fun. went into this. Some yeah. work went into this. Oh yeah, this is a good meme. I'm happy that I'm she acknowledged this time. Val, Val, There's no stupid face. Goat anywhere in here. Like every meme has to go somewhere, and this one he's not referenced. Good. <laughs> and that's and, and that's creepy. And that's pretty mask. I'm also tired of it. Like goat Doctor, hates the, a goat hates red bandit, and I hate the creepy mask. I hate that mask. Your your own mask you hate? Yeah, I'm tired of this meme. But I do wanna hide my face in a mask because I like that. Or rather, I mask, or, or a mask of my person. Sad. sad back. I don't know what. That's just not what good. Goat anyway, here's your bill. Three thousand dollars. Did you do this yourself? I thought that was Lego. Copyright, copyright, <laughs> copyright, copyright. That's music from Willy Wonka 2005 movie. Thank you, XO. I know I, ha I have that DVD. Don't ask why. Oh, no. He's descending on that poor man. Okay. Can I go um, now? No. We're almost there. My feelings are hurt. We I'm need not. you. I need people you. Except the guns people like Autobots. They're nice. Good. <laughs> I don't like any of them. Logan Paul versus Mayweather. First date, <laughs> last date, Kool-Aid. That was me, God monkey. scares me. The master behind Lego. James, your, your, your Facebook photos are not memes. Laughing. No. More like e bleeding. My anxiety is going to. This isn't Lego memes. We are fricked. This is. What do you have to say? Me. I don't say Lara, Lara, Lara. I say. We've Lara, heard that one. Lara. We've heard that a not few times. Not funny. They I'm didn't gonna, laugh. Uh, why? It's not five. Like I'm going past. They okay. Didn't okay, laugh. we're down to five. We're almost done. Oh, there's Lego. This was an appropriate one, but you cannot handle the power of Shinjitsu. The Rio Spijitsu is not just a dryer, it's a freaking tornado. 
Every time I ask someone to boost the server. That and that face, of course. Okay. I like that face. NBA face is None of these are Lego. My wallet, have mercy. The only one Lego ones I posted personally. There is no mercy. The new set. All Star Wars. If you see... If you see a person with a black and white flag for a Pride Month, beware. It is rarely the Brixter's flag. I thought so. Uh, and I that, think that's, that's it. also Lego City. Lego City also has them. We're still not going to watch it. I see too much skin in that. I'm not going to click it. Anyway, that's the end of the that's terrible memes. So, the worst memes we've ever had. I'm glad someone's laughing. Chris liked them. Go, I had more memes like the I'm going to do Let's get down to four. You, you can post it in the me regular meme channel. That would be nice. Uh, we're not going to go back to that. And um, the name I can't pronounce, talk to me, Brickmaster on the server, and I'll talk about coming, being a guest next week. As long as you have a decent mic and, and or camera, it should be okay. As long as you're a comfortable speaker. And I think I mean, that... I mean, we have Exo on, so... Yeah. Really high bar. I think that's just very about high, it. Because I'm very dumb. A couple of viewers left which on the stream. So just a reminder, anyone watching the replay, if, assuming you replayed all the way to this point, there's a link to Discord in the description if you want to join every Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time doing the show. Also a reminder, we're going to do another Brick Film Festival, another Goatee Awards show uh, mid-August. So I will play the little trailer for that at the end of the show once again. And I think that's just about it. I'll put the poll up in the server for next week's theme, one of which items would be ARMY. And I think that's it. Anything else you want to add, guys? Uh, I want to. I, I want to. Uh, I know uh, you. You. You first. You first. You first. No, it's important that you go first. All right then. And down flex, but I'm finally getting my first Lego Star Wars set. Oh, congratulations! That's, that's not a flex. I mean, it's buying something, and flexing is kind of showing what you bought, right? You bought Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Old Star Wars. Great okay, to see you, Chris. Awesome. Not the so, nasty modern ones. I think it's a good place to close out the show. Does anyone has anything else to add? Professor Goat's in a great you mood. You have the key to, my, to the shackles uh, t on my feet. Okay, so I will get on that. And you can say your exit line you used to end the streams with. Remember yeah. you used to end the streams with? Yes, I'm, I'm well aware. I was just composing myself from the frustration that was this stream. Yes, the memes Thank are you. terrible. Thank you. Yes, just the memes. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And until next time, play well.